interesting uh, role play session tonight. And for recap, I got oh. a nat, I got a nat twenty. Says uh, high or low? Recapping. Oh, it's definitely high tonight. It's definitely high. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely high tonight. Ooh, sixteen. Oh, yeah, we haven't had a nice Aaron recap. I love me an Aaron recap. Love me an Aaron mm-hmm. recap. Oh, um, uh, eight. Nice. Sucker. I got a two. That uh, might be a Matt recap, which we haven't had in a while. Well, I thought you just said it was high, so aren't you recapping? No, no, I'm not. He just changes it to whatever he wants. There's no order. There's no rhyme or reason. There's not no rhyme. Rhyme. He, got, he got a Matt 20, so it's whatever he does. It sure. doesn't get him to do the recap. It's true. True. Well. All right, Matt, let's hear it. All right. I'm going to go by my notes. I don't know what you guys were doing. That's good. Um, I will fill you in at the end with anything you missed. But my notes are not very good either. Go ahead. Um. Okay. Let's say again. Um, okay, so we gathered as a group. Then we started preparing for our heist. Uh, someone turned us invisible. That was pretty fun. Then Aaron and I did some excellent murdering, just like I have it written down as top-notch assassination uh, in a house. Um, we probably didn't need to kill those people, but we did. I don't remember us finding anything particularly exciting in there, other than we each have some potions here. I don't. I won't recap those specifically. Uh, we went to go pick up our weapon or my weapon from the. Hold on, sorry. Give me one second. That was close. I mean. Who did the invisibility thing? Stag. Uh, Definitely stag. Stag did that. Definitely stag. Sorry. So okay. we did the invisibility thing. Some of us broke it when we had to do murders, but that was okay because it was worth it. Um, we left. We went. To, I can't remember if this is the right order, but at some point we picked up my, the crystal bow that we had traded all of Aranus's, uh functional crystals for. Um, at some point, we discovered in the murder house that there was a Ceramorph baby. He is now in my possession um, and is now part of the gang. So we haven't named him yet, but we already have one Sprock. So we now have two. Um, we picked up a couple of other things. I stole a painting of Lumera, Lumithric, Lumithric. And we also uh, Lumithric, and we also obtained the naked painting of Ignis and Stag. Um, should that come in handy at some point in the future? <laughs> <laughs> then mm-hmm. I forget what happened in between where we like went into a couple of other houses and then somehow we ended up in this dungeon area looking for the skull is sort of all I remember. And it's 8.55 a.m., not p.m. And I have an arrow rope. Um, End of list. Good. So the... We don't know what the kid's name is. You're carrying around the kid. So you killed the, their yes. parents um, by accident, yes. thinking that they were. Um, but you you did get. Who, wait, Aaron. Who, who wait, we didn't do it by accident. Well, you did it on purpose. We did it very sure. much on purpose. Yes. yes. Um, and did you guys get. Oh, you have the, you have the, um, the helmets on. We have the helmets on. You have the uh, Magneto-like helmets, um, which are called, uh, I believe that that's what they're called, Ma- Magneto helms. Uh, mm-hmm. And they, pull up, they, depending on the situation, um, you'll have to roll every now and then um, to, they'll essentially give you a, an advantage on a roll for whether or not the, um, Mind flares can uh, read your mind, um, and that's going to be fun to play. You guys uh, come to, and uh, not come to, but um, where you guys left off, you were just in the middle of a, um, what, 
there was, I think there was smoke. There's smoke everywhere in this. It's like a very eerie, um, smoky cathedral. Um, so you're going to have, everyone is going to have disadvantage on sight. Um, but so are the uh, people that are going to be patrolling. I think, did you guys run into a um, drow of any kind? I'm a drow. Oh, You're there were drow. some drow that were that were around. trying to avoid. Yeah. But also, we we have active darkness around us right now. Yeah, and I know it's dark in here, but that is also, I do have that now. Another thing is, you said there's an alarm system in this place, okay. and the baby cried, so we had a plus three to alarm. Yes, that's right. So, and you also had us roll initiative at so the end of last time. The way the way that I was going to um, have this work is that you're going to have a um, there was this cool um, this cool find it. If not, I'll just make it up as we do it. There was a cool uh, mechanic um, about alarms. And essentially, it's like um, if you kill a guard, uh, just think Matt and um, I guess who who played Metal Gear Solid? Everyone played Metal Gear Solid. So imagine you're sneaking around um, and you kill a guard and you leave him there and the other guard hits uh, sees it, automatic alarm. Um, so I'm going to be allotting these things points. Um, so if yeah, you were to you get a little exclamation point yeah. over his head, yeah. So yeah. they're going to say, okay, maybe, maybe when you, um, maybe when they find, and we'll play it as we go. Cause I'm not hundred percent sure what's going to happen, but you know, noise that you make baby cry, those will be points that add towards an alarm. I don't know exactly what an alarm is going to, going to be yet. Um, but if you were to kill a guy and leave his corpse there, that, and then someone else finds it, that's going to be a large number of, of, uh, of points. The total for the points um, of the alarm is going to be 10, and I will leave that out for everyone to know. I'm not going to just randomly um, say alarm, which is something that we could do. But um, So you guys are staring off into the distance. You hear um, an, you're at the entrance of this thing. You did sneak past. Uh, I forgot exactly how the um, the sneaking went. Um, you guys sort of. Well, we're covered in darkness. You're covered in darkness, so no one can see you. Yeah. Um, and I, aren't some people still invisible? No, that that would have worn off. You're, I think, in, you're, the, in the time, but it, it only lasted okay. an hour. So the darkness, Matt, does that require um, concentration? No. I don't believe so. So. Or wait, I think I might have. Oh no! Made, it is. It does require concentration. Sorry. Yes. I think I made. Um, yeah. Or, no, you made us invisible again. No, you made. I made. I did make all of us because we have the baby. So I think I just made myself, Sprock, and the baby invisible. Right. Because you two have really good stealth. Yes. Oh, you mean yeah. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron and, and Matt? Aaron and, and yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. We're um, both. What's the thing above proficient? Expertise. When you, have the, when you have the little circle, yeah. So can you guys see, um, you guys can't see anything, right? You just see the, the character in front of you and that's it? Yes. Okay, because I saw... I have and we a, see these boxes of smoke. Okay, so I have a little bit of like a, I will reveal the rooms um, when they come in. But, um, so there's a ceremony going on and there's smoke in the air. Let's have Matt, since you did the recap, um, give me... There's like a certain chime going on in the in the air, uh, in in the you can hear it. Um, there's a chime going on from the ceremony. What does that chime sound like? Oh, like a like a a ceremonial chime. You mean? Yeah. Is it like? It like, sounds like. So, dun, 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 so it's like a circusy, sort of like an eerie circusy. Yeah. So like I'm not very good at singing. That was meant to be the intro to Curb Your Enthusiasm. I was gonna say that sounded like Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. Da, 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 da. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the chime that we're working with, but it's gonna be made out of like a metal sound. Ding, yeah. Ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 okay. ding. And it's every every now and then you notice that it's not like uh, it's not going to a certain beat. 
but it's a weird, weird metal sound. Um, and you hear uh, moans and groans. Um, so this pink circle is what your your that's the darkness. But I've realized I can't drag it with me, so that's I'll just erase it. So how? So how? Uh, here, I'll erase it. How many? Um, how many feet? It's feet from you, right? It's a it's a fifteen foot radius around me. Okay, cool. All right. And it does require concentration. I'm sorry. I wonder if I can toggle that onto you. It might be. It's all right. I'll I'll keep track That's of it. Okay. Don't can you lock them together? Like group no. them together? Like put it on and. No. Uh, it's fine. It's make fine. a. No yeah, there's a way. There's a way to do it, and I will. I will figure that out for next time. Um. Okay. So you guys. So initiative. Um. We rolled. And. We did, right? And I think Aaron got who's B. No, maybe not. I, didn't keep yeah, I did I don't remember. Did we roll for initiative last time? I think we stopped before we We did. we I have my initiative written down. What is it? But we can redo it. What's your initiative? Mine was twenty two. I think we that had sounds made up. That sounds I, I no, I think I'm fairly certain we had someone at 23 someone at 24 i was at 22 that yeah, dude was at like 20 24 and then Aaron. i have a 23 at 23 um that was probably me probably me and then a 22 yeah, it was me a 22 was was chris and then i have a uh, i have a five and a four <laughs> and uh that was your guys <laughs> i think <laughs> I think the four uh, is going to be Jake, and I think the five is my um, your dude. But you know dude. you don't roll well, so why would you take the better roll? I just don't. No, good, no. I'm fairly certain it was that way too. Yeah, because I have I have a something that looks like a big J next. Sounds, to I'm surprised. Is it? Does the <laughs> no, it could be it could lies? Be. <laughs> Be, you know, I don't lies know, being told around the tabletop. <laughs> oh no, it's it's true. It's in the uh, game log. Oh, Aaron is twenty four. Ignis twenty three. Hey, That's it. The hey. other people must not have rolled that. But don't have right. to cheat. Um. So Aaron, you can go first. Um. You are surrounded by fifteen feet from from Ignis is uh, darkness. Now can uh. People just can't, when you go into a room of darkness, just mind you, the whole room sort of goes dark. And there some people... It, well, people you, you, had said, you had said that the room was already quite dark. So we were it, just like it, it, creating but blending. You, yeah. yeah, but you, but darkness will take the smoke out. So we'll see how that, how that, how that goes. But darkness... Right, let me ask you a question. Is this black. unnatural darkness? Is this magical darkness? Or is this no, it's, it's drow magic. Drow magic from... From Ignis is making yeah. this area. It's a 15 you. foot radius. It spreads around corners. A creature with dark vision can't see through it, and nothing non magical can light it. That shit sucks. But you can, see, you can see out of it, but people can't see into it. Oh, okay. So I can see out of it still. Yeah. All right. No, I, that, I know for a fact that, now. I dropped a smoke bomb in fucking Baldur's. No, it's. it's you can only. Uh, you, can't you, know, you, can, you only if you have double sight or true sight or blind sight or any other special way to see through magical darkness, you can. But if not, no one can see through it. Oh, so there, the, you're just darkness is blind. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't see it. No one can, can see, see through it. Yeah. What about using magic to see into it? Magic, you can see. What spell? What spell, bro? Like control. Flame and use a but, of fire. So it have to be something of so second level or higher. If Aaron were to run forward, he wouldn't. He wouldn't necessarily know what direction he's going in. Correct. Until but he also, moves for 15, 15 20 feet. feet. Yeah. So and it's then he like, sees. It's just I just did it because we entered a new room and I wanted us to be able to plan and regroup without being attacked. So I, if everyone wants, I can just turn it off. Ah. Uh, like I, we don't have to have it. I just thought we would want it. Let the let the invisible people not make the decisions over what what we should and should not. It's true, Aaron. It's good point. Good point. Yeah. Do you want to have the darkness? We can't see. I mean, I assume I can see as the caster, or is that not even true? 
Um, unless it says in your... Um, no, it doesn't. Then you can't see it there either. Yeah, I got to... Right. The smoking stuff of like D&D doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but... Mm -hmm. Should we at least try and kill this one guy from darkness before we do anything else? What do we need to kill him? Is, how far away can you pass your darkness? Uh, 60 feet. So why don't you cast it around him? Uh, do you have any mat any form of like magical sight? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not true. I do. We don't have to kill him. We stop, could kill stop, him. Stop, 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 we we can him. sneak by him. If you talk too loud, they might hear you. So uh, I don't know. Maybe don't talk too loud. <laughs> Yeah, you're invisible. Don't let them know where you are. What does the Mind Flayer think about killing this guy? I don't know. Yeah, the action, I do because he's I talking an awful lot for someone invisible. Actually, let's, let's roll back real quick. Sprock, when was the last time you ate a brain? No, he just had one. He yeah, just he had just a brain. Had one. Oh, you're right. You're yeah, right. People you're, ready kills. you're ready to go. So the, the mob and, and he had a, a, a super yeah. brain, too, not too long ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were mom and dad Ceramorph, but they were also Ceramorph, so you know. All right. Cleansing the world one one kill at a time, Matt. Let's go. I am going to okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm well, going to so so yes, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So um uh uh Ignis. We were just explaining <laughs> what darkness great. was. This is great. Yeah, yeah guys. Keep your keep your darkness bubble up. Um okay. can, can I can I roll perception to see if I got a pretty descriptive look um of the person? Uh, yeah, before, because we knew he before, was there before your darkness came on. Yeah, 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 sure. Like that's we saw him yeah. and he turned. Yeah, it I'll on. let you. I'll let yeah. you. I'll let you. I'll give you that. All right. Well. All right. So I rolled a two, but because of my um, oh, fuck, what is the name of that stupid feat? Um, no reliable I, talent. Reliable yeah. talent. Yeah. So it's a ten. So I got a dirty twenty. On your on perception. All right, so you you know that he's a uh, from the from the Smith uh, from. You don't have to roll me a. Uh, you have to roll me another one because you have dis you have disadvantage on the look, but you you've already maxed out. So, but um, unless you get a, a I got a twenty one. All right, so you you know it's a drow. Um, he's dressed up. Uh, he is very similar looking to the. You didn't see from your way and from your time that you've spent in in Striad, you know that the Drow are sort of like either slaves or hired help of some kind. Um, and you see this one, and it looks like this Drow has um, more of a still seems to be like raggedy clothing on him, but um, he seems to be like a security hired security guard that type of okay i'm gonna use disguise self to make myself look more drow and kind of mimic nice. the clothing features of solid, uh, solid. the drow in front of us that i, I give you some some drow tips i'm like yeah I, this is what we do I'm gonna, you know what for you for that um i'm gonna give you a cool point because that was pretty cool, nice. uh, cool. And i'm gonna change your guy to be uh purple um so i'm gonna change myself to drow and i'm gonna be like okay let's go talk to him you know drow to drow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay do you speak i guess you can right, speak so... drow elvish yeah you do drow speak yes elvish. Drow speak elvish. so you're saying you want to go forward yeah. and and discuss and like confront this guy yeah let's Not just go up and but... talk to him like like we're also just a part of like what's going on okay well i'm gonna have to end the darkness no, but no, everyone no, of else course. is invisible. So that's exactly. fine. So let's, let's go. What we'll do is we'll act like we just walked in yeah, okay. and we'll just be mid conversation. I got we'll it. Just yeah. Walk up, blah, blah, blah. Oh, hey, you're still here. I thought we were changing shifts. Oh, hey, Larry Drow. What are you doing, buddy? All like, right. So, so, I see what okay. you're saying. so you, so you, okay, perfect. Let's go. Let's do it. We just walk up and we're just like, oh, hey, you're still here. We were told we were changing shifts. We were told taking over. You guys are making this. You guys are making this hard for me. Um, <laughs> So uh, this drow is going to say to you, <laughs> um, ah, like you're uh, in drow, I guess. 
Are you speaking to him in Drow? Because it's either Drow. Drow is different than Elvish and Undercommon. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll, I'll let um, Ignis do the speaking then. Yeah, I'll speak in Drow. So what are you going to say, Matt? And I'm, I'm assuming you're coming up. Yeah, we're walking up, and we're like, "Hey, what's going on, buddy?" So I thought, you, I thought we were on this patrol. So you you have your um, clothing. Remember and, the clothing the clothing that they gave you guys for the ceremony. Yeah, we're in the we're in the outfits. Okay, with your invisible but Aaron. I also Aaron, have an, an invisible ceremony uh, to, look, strap to, me. to look like a um, a guard. So uh, the guard is going to say, um, and I rolled a ten on his. Uh, perception, so he's going to be, um, and also let me roll that again. Two tenths, so he is not going to be thinking too too um, concerned about the way it looks because he can't get a good look at you from all the smoke that's uh, in the air. He's going to say, um, "You guys are late. Uh, carry carry on." Um, and he sort of he he sort of makes. Uh, eyes, sorry, it's not eyes, yeah, sorry about that. Man. He makes eyes at. Uh, at Aaron, and he's, he's like this. He's like, and he says to Aaron uh, in Drow, um, "Be ready for the be ready for the sign, my son." And like, I'm just gonna do a high sign with my hands, and then we'll keep walking. <laughs> yeah, be ready for the sign, my son. Um. And keep walking. And then I guess the other two are. Yeah, so I would assume the invisible I'm, I'm people gonna, are just. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to. I'm going to follow on the opposite side of the. Of the. Air of uh, Aranus and Ignis as they're walking through. Okay. We're very casual, though. Okay. All casual like. Why are there two Ignises? There's not. They're stag. And he's tiny, and he almost looks like that. I, 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 I just did such oh. a good job. No, those are so um, the guys that are invisible. Um, give me a uh, dis as you walk by this guy. Give me a um, so there's no alarm. There's no alarm going to be set for um, because you guys played that correctly. Give me a. Uh, Why are you making me small? Because you're you're too big for this board. I'm huge. Uh, give me a. Uh, Sorry, um, not deception, but uh, stealth. Yeah, give me a stealth check just to make sure that you're not making any noise as you as you creak by this guy. Or in invisible, okay. and they are walking too. Same yeah, way. I don't yeah, think. I hold on. Fine. Um, but, but also, I'm still rolling my advanced stealth. Growl look weird to this dude. Say that again. Would two drow just walking look weird to this dude? No, you guys. So uh, Matt, Matt is in in his ceremonial robes, and mm-hmm. you are dressed up like a uh, like a soldier. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it, I'm it, acting like I'm in charge of of Aranus. I'm like, oh yeah. Or or it's like maybe maybe this drow this drow rolled a ten, so he's not very perceptive with the smoke in the air um, mm-hmm. uh, that's buzzing by. So perhaps for the story, perhaps he thinks that. Um, you are you, Aaron, are walking this guy to the ceremony. Sounds good. So yeah, we're just walking. Hi, son. Hey. Yeah. Um. There's another drow that you walk by, who seems to be uh, rolling through. Um. I guess we don't we don't necessarily need to do uh, initiative order on this one, um, because I think that's that to keep things moving. I think it's better if we just keep going. Um. There's another drow, and this drow is going to um. Uh, Look at Matt, and he say, um, "Are you being offered?" Uh, yes. And to which house? Ah, uh, I I'm not sure. They haven't told me yet. Interesting. Uh, what party are you? And he points at uh, at Aaron. Um. I'm gonna point at <laughs> I'm gonna point at my mouth and uh, make a kind of like can't talk symbol, can't talk like hand sign. I'm like, and I'm gonna pull out like show uh, show like a knife cut on my tongue. 
You're going to try to convince this guy that your tongue has been cut off? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Um, okay, so... Give me Is that a, performance? Yeah, that, yes, I think that's going to be performance. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, it's not going to be great. But... A two? Oh, wait, hold on a minute. I literally rolled a natty one. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Um, I ready my bow. <laughs> as you, uh, as you uh, slit your, uh, as you do the knife thing on your face, um, you cut your. Um, I'm using my hand, not a real knife. No, no, no. You you uh, disrobe your your body and, and reveal yourself to not be um, what? a a drow uh, in in the under uh give me everyone give me a perception your alarm is going to go up to it's like it all of a sudden it blinks Ding! um and this guy the drow is going to roll a nine on his um uh, sorry initiative so these two drow um are now going to attack you. Well, I feel oh, yeah, like I would be ready to, we would be ready to do murder right away. That's so fine. I don't think that's entirely fair. Um, I would say that... Like, obviously, Aranus and I are going into this prepared to murder these two people I would at the second, the the first sign. Invisible guys can go first um, because they have the jump on the situation. Um, Wait. But I give, I turn and I give a hand signal. To not do that, don't become because that makes them uninvisible immediately, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm. I'm just sitting it back and I'm watching. Yeah, I I wave them off. Like, hey, let, don't let waste the, the invisibility. Let the two invisible people be in charge of their fate. Okay. Uh, All right, here, let me ask a quick question. Yeah. Why? Why does the? Wouldn't the natty one just mean that my thing didn't work? Why would I do something ridiculous like take off my clothes? The natty one would be a fail to the, and the worst case scenario of the event would happen. Yeah, which would I be the, think it's fair. Would be, which would be that like you have somehow shown them that you are not who you are, and like oh, not, my, spell, right. not maybe my like spell drops, my spell would drop. That would make sense, but maybe, but like me getting well, naked doesn't. So the make guy, sense. the guy. No, it's true. I feel, no, because I feel like I feel like that's a good point. But like your spell, because you, you, we could fool. You did disguise people. self too. You used disguise self. Though it's a magical disguise. Right, uh, but it could have been something like as you made it a little bit bigger than you, and you put your hand through your face, and he realizes that it's fake. I think the spell dropping makes sense. Me getting naked doesn't make sense. No, you're not. That's not what I meant. I didn't say that. Okay, you like lost your. Your face is me naked. Why am I my clothes? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, okay. it's. Yeah, it's just not stag running this game. Totally so. makes sense. And then I don't know the spells drop because I can't see me, right? Like so I that makes so you, sense to me. So you um you were going up to this guy and you um uh did your thing and I mean, then failed and your spell dropped and you turned right so in front as of soon as I see into a different person, that's fine. Right. He's still so I'm next. So he's like, like here, right? right? So, so as soon as I see that happen, I'm going to stab this guy in the neck. Which one? The one this guy behind me. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to turn around and stab him in the neck. Okay. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, but you still need to roll initiative. I, I tried. You both still need to roll initiative. Okay, that's fine. Tried. 18. Tried to save their lives. Oh my fucking God, these fucking ones, man. No, oh God. Get uh, them out now. Yeah, I know, right? All right, I rolled a six. That's crazy. <laughs> Wait, but I think that might be higher than at least one of them. I like, um, I've been rolling real low today. I played a little Baldur's Gate for a second, and I, I, I rolled mm. real low today. Right, right. So you rolled, you rolled your, your 20s too early. Um, well, the, well, Matt, the drow gets a uh, 19, but Matt, since you're, um, so you're going to do a surprise attack on this guy, I'll give you the, uh, but he's, yeah, like, I feel like I should get an, an attack. Um, um okay. Uh, okay. See, so he's not looking at you all anymore. All right. You can, you can get your surprise attack on this guy, but, um, 
just you to annoy you. The first drag of the 19. You know I'm a, Aaron, what, I'm a rogue now. Uh, six. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Sneak attack. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I got lots of sneak attacks for you, bud. You're going to be just as annoyed with me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're going to be trying to kill me soon, except it's much easier, usually. Um, <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do 23. Does that hit? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know. The security guards. Jeez. Nine. And then... Fifth, does 15 hit? That's a more reasonable question. Yes. Jesus. Nine, seven, and five. So that's uh, 21 damage. But on the second one, I can do one D. <laughs> one D. <laughs> Hold on. I'm very glad about how I multi-class this. Oh, and another eight. So 29 damage to this All guy. Right, from so, so describe your, your kill here. He doesn't. It's nothing. He's He blinks and he's gone. Like, I turn around, I see Aaron fuck up, I sigh. I'm like, oh, God, Jesus. Okay. We were so good in the last round. And then I just I just jab two arrows into this guy's neck, like, very quickly. So Drought 2 is just... Drought 2, we didn't even care about his name, is gone. Um, yeah, and then I'd like to see if I can salvage either of my arrows if that it comes up. Okay, well, Drought 1 is going to attack Aaron as, Um and let's see. He's going to take his short sword out. And does a 16 hit? No, does a 14 hit you? Uh, 14 does not hit. Damn. Mm -mm, something tells me he's not going to survive that much longer. Um, no, he's not. He is... Gonna sit there and uh, doesn't have any cool stuff. These guards. Um, all right, go ahead. It's your turn. Guess what? Guess what, Spence? What? Stabby stab. Sneak attack. Sneak attack, motherfucker. No, I can't. I don't get a sneak attack on him. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit him. Wait, no. Him. Yes, you do. No, he just attacked me. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm five. I'm within five feet of you. But not of him. Uh, five feet of him. Oh, am I not? No, I guess not. Okay. Oh yeah, you got to be like on him. Um, we'll get it down next time. Yeah, next time we'll get him. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, all right. I I, I have a other outside metagame thing to talk. I want actually I got to talk to you and Chris about because I gotta I gotta figure out how this like dual wielding actually works because. Bulge Gate's got me looking at stuff all kinds of differently, and I'm just like, what what is my character actually able to do that I'm not doing? <laughs> um Right, let's use this true blade and fuck this guy up. I think you're doing a pretty good job. Um Ooh. but until until you know what, now that you bring that up, I have to kill you. That's funny. Uh <laughs> does an eight hit? No, it does not, sir. All right. Um, then I'm going to use, um, a cunning action, uh, disengage and I'm going to faint back away from him uh, this way. And that's my turn. Okay. Um, Matt, you're. So I am so with disappointed with what's yeah, happening you're... right now. Yeah, uh, I'm looking shocked and appalled at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this yeah. guy didn't know we were trying to kill him, and uh, I know. I turned to the invisible guys and I just shake my head, like, "What's whose man's is this?" I know, I know. I'm sorry, guys. I, this is this is a bad night so far. This is starting off. This is our rogue. <laughs> Why do you think you you had to take levels in? Her? Thank God. I mean, Jesus. Oh, whatever. Finish your kill. <laughs> it's I'm not up. I think Chris is up. 
Oh yeah, whose turn is it actually? Yeah, the the invisible guys. Are get, are you guys are gonna go. Uh, I'm just gonna watch, but I do have one question for you. Yeah. When Ignis killed this dude on the right, mm-hmm. like, is he still mostly intact? Yeah. He. Or Ignis, it was like a little quick little jab. I think Ignis just like cut his. Ignis, did you cut his? You just went for his neck, right? It's a pretty. But, I mean, given it's a, it was like a one shot. I'd like to think that I got like a pretty it's, clean kill. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like it's, it's still long... his throat, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So I'll I'll just wander over towards this guy and start trying to clean him up a little. Grab a cloth and start wrapping up the the neck after he dies, of course. Uh, I'll let you know what I'm doing a little bit later. But you're you're still invisible doing this. Yeah, I'm still invisible. Yeah. Okay. You just see a cloth come out and start appearing on the sky. I tell you telepathically, I got I'm doing something. Okay, so I guess it's the Drow's turn again. Um, Drow is going to come over towards uh, Aranus. I mean, uh, towards Ignis. Well, doesn't Ignis it, it, doesn't Ignis go before the Drow again? In initiative. No, it was Drow, Ignis Drow, Drow one, Drow. Aranus. It was Drow Ignis, two. It was Ignis killed Drow two. Then it was Drow. Uh, Ignis, Aaron. That's right. Now it's Drow again. Um, he's going to cast a uh, fire, fairy fire, um, in a tw- twenty foot cube around Ignis, and that's going to hit. I guess all of you. Twenty feet. Does that hit twenty feet? Yeah, so five, ten, twenty. Yeah, it's all of you guys. Wow. Um and that is going to outline everyone in a blue and or violet light. Any creature in the area when the spell is cast is outlined in the light. Um and fail got a twenty three. Got twenty three for the deck save. Yeah, so you guys, have, everyone gives me a deck save to see if they um, fail it. All right. Woo, twenty seven. And the save will be. Yeah, the save's not not much. Uh, the save is eleven. I got twenty seven. Okay. Um. So I guess oh, what about the baby uh, Ceramorph? Baby Ceramorph? Should I uh, roll for the baby Ceramorph or should Matt? Yeah. No, there's no way Spencer's rolling. I roll for the baby Ceramorph. <laughs> 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 this, this is, I explained to you last guy time, I will kill all of you before I let this baby go. So I will roll. Tell me what I need to roll. Um, I guess it's just the same thing that Rowan is. Like a ro- uh, D20 for him. Yeah, He's a baby. Long. He can't have any pluses. The baby is restrained, though. What does the restraint condition say? Uh, what does that mean? Oh, I need creature to has disadvantage on deck saves. Okay, so, so I have a disadvantage. A dex ceramorph um, gnome has a, it has a plus, is a 14 to it. Okay. Oh, plus two. So, plus so disadvantage two. plus two. Yeah. On a d20. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one, so 15. Um, that passes. And All so right. I guess he's just going to attack um, Matt with a with his last portion of his turn. What? That, that a, wasn't his, his action? No. With a, uh, I think that's a bonus. Hold on, isn't that a bonus action? One each, one each day. The drow can. Yeah, it comes back to the action to cast. Innate, innate spell casting ability. Oh. Uh, requiring no. That's... Yeah. Um. So he's going to attack Matt. That's. I want. I want that. With a 
Well, that's the, that's the power of the NPC. Of the 17 plus, uh, so that hits, I think, 21. Um, uh, what am I going against? A 21 uh, short sword. Oh, just armor class? Yeah, yeah. no, that hits. Not by uh, much. So he, knows it, he knows it hits. Yeah, 1d6. Plus it's closer than he thinks, you though. armor on you? Yeah, right? I, I do, yeah. Okay, 1d6 uh, plus 2. Uh, so that's, I got an, a six on that, so it's an eight damage. Okay. Um, you got it, buddy. Let's see how loud the noise is. Why don't you roll me a... Uh, I, I turn and spit at the ground when you roll me, me, just so you, you roll know. Me one, one D4. One. All right, you get one, one sound of alarm reverberates. Clank, 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 reverberates through the, through the, um... This this whole encounter has raised the alarm level. Someone here. I whisper something. quietly and drow at this guy. You dumb bitch. <laughs> well, what did you say? What's the <laughs> Robocop quote? <laughs> Bitches come. I no. You know what? I take it back. I look at him dead in the eye and in drow. I say, "Bitches come." <laughs> bad words make bad feelings. Can you can you earn yourself a cool point and say that um, in drow? Like, what does the drow language sound like? That's up to you. To <laughs> I have no give idea. Me the power. Give you the power here. What does it sound like? Uh, like a slithering language? Is it like what does Elvish sound like? But then no, he sounds like a minion. <laughs> bleaches, bleaches come. So that's what oh, you say. God. You're like, uh, you're yeah, like exactly, yeah, Goldeneye, but like the Russian guy. Bo what's his name? Bog Boggle Boris Boris <laughs> Boris. Yeah, like Boris. Boris. Yeah, all drow sound like Boris. Boris. Riches come, okay. <laughs> but you whisper that. <laughs> nice. But I, I say nice. a real. Style. I like that. I'm gonna write this down. Drow equals Russian. <laughs> Perfect. Um, nice. All right, go ahead. It's your turn. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. No, it's uh, yeah. Oh, my I, turn. Oh, my I killed this guy. No, I'm before you. Oh yeah, Jay yeah. Jay goes yeah. drow, Matt, Aaronus. I just I, I I shoot this guy with an arrow because he's pissing me off. He cut me. Okay. So that's one thirty. Does thirty hit? Yeah, that hits. <laughs> what about twenty eight? Does twenty eight yeah, hit? Yeah, twenty eight hits. So you can do it. Oh, okay, twenty eight hits. Yeah. I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't. It's not even the sneak attack that really gets him. So that's fourteen. 18, it's the D8 that, that should finish him off. Well, only four. Only 22. That, yeah, describe your kill. I spit at his feet, and I, and I slice his throat, too. I, I take two arrows, and I put them directly through his throat. I'm very mad. Nice. And then again, I see, can I quickly see if I can salvage any of the arrows I shot? I'm going to... Yeah, you can salvage. Um, How many? I shot four. Um, half of them are broken, so you can salvage two. Fair. Um, okay, I'm going to make these guys green. Actually, I'll make them turquoise because it's easier to see. Um, these are bodies that you guys have now sitting there. Let's hide these bodies. No one's invisible anymore, so. Wait. Yeah, I am. Yeah. The, the other guys, oh, didn't, these didn't, guys act, dead. didn't act either. They were waiting for you guys to. So uh, you have two um, dead drow bodies. Um, what you are here, uh, Sprock, since you're in the back looking around and you didn't um, act, give me a, um, a perception uh, and you'll be able to tell the group what you see up ahead. It is a uh, 22. So you see this large room. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 um, Ceramorphs who seem to be, um, I don't know if you'd be able to tell what kind of Ceramorph they are, um, unless you give me, a, give me a, give me a quick, his, a history would I guess a history check just to see if you would remember what what we, you were dealing with before 
Yo, sorry guys. I need ten minutes. I'll be yeah, right no, back. Go for it. Twelve. Um, you see a couple of these. So there's thirteen ceramorphs. They all look very similar. They look sort of like the ceramorphs that you guys um, were. You in the house when they when they when Matt and Aaron killed the family there? This is Valley. Valley sacrificed himself because he only rolled low. Don't be a Valley. Roll high and subscribe. No, no. All right, so you just see some small-looking ceramorphs. Um, there are 13 of them. But they look to be, like, in some sort of trance. Like, they're... Um, they're in meditation. You have your helmet on, so you can't tell what they're thinking uh, uh, about. Um, but as you get closer to these guys... Um, the, Can we... Are we in a place where we could have a conversation, like, as a group? Yes. Quietly. Yeah. Okay. You guys are going. All right. I mean, definitely tell them all of that. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like my suggestion would be these other drow thought that I was getting sacrificed. You guys are all still invisible. I said we just walk through these guys with Aranus, like carrying, like leading me as a prisoner. Not a prisoner, but you know what I mean. For sacrifice. Yeah. Because I feel like we could just walk right through this group. Great idea. Well, I, can, I can help with that a little bit, too. I mean, if Aranus is playing the uh, I can't talk move, I'm going to finish after this one that uh, Ignis quickly killed. I'm going to finish wrapping up his neck, put like a cloth around his neck, turn his clothes so you can't see as much of the blood as possible. And then I'm going to use a, an, a, an ability, so it's not a spell, to animate this body as an animated performance. Excellent. Uh, go ahead, get yourself a cool point. That's pretty cool. So you're gonna have a um, what's the uh, and you can float weekend tip burnings going on? Yep. <laughs> uh, absolutely. And you can float, so I, we can move them around easy. That's hilarious because um, as you guys are figuring this out, uh, just keep things moving. Um, There are going to be a couple more guards coming your way um, that you guys can hear. You guys can hear some footsteps coming. Okay. They're far, they're not they're they're uh, reasonably far away, but they're not they're not too far away. I say we stick with our plan and we just try and casually walk through these guys. Agreed. I'll look like a prisoner. Aranus will look like he's leading me. We should hide these bodies first. However, we can do that. So, so I can Chris, cast darkness again over them. Chris is Chris is, has animated one of them to to be a weekend at birth. Right, but there's, that, but there's still another dead body. Yeah, there's at one least dead, one. Yeah. So we have to get rid of that dead body. I think. Um. Hmm. I don't really know what we could do other than put him at the beginning of this hallway. I only eat brains. I don't eat bodies. Do you want to eat yeah. this? This brain right now? Yeah, might as well. Well, you might as well eat the brain I'm gonna while we're brain. figuring out what to do. Just eat brains, yeah, definitely. All right, so I eat the brain. Mm -hmm. You eat the drow's brain? Yeah. All right, give me a... Um, give me... Give me an arcana. What do we do the rolls for this? Give me an arcana just to help it. 16. All right. So you see, and then you need to roll me a uh, two tens. Two tens. I'm going to write Eaton Drow. Oh, this is going to be good. Who's ready for a lore drop? I have a question. Yeah. Yes. Let's do the drop first. I'll wait. A ten and a six. Wow. I hate the fact that oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this guy's name is Schnoll Scars. Schnoll Scars. And his last name is one, two, three, four, five, six. Schnoll Scars. Slate counter, 
No wonder he's he's always dead. Um, and Snullscars, Mister Slate Counter, um, you get a little flashback with that with that uh, with that roll, but not too high of a roll. So you get a little bit of a flashback. You get a flashback of um, these him growing up in what looks like to be a, a little bit of a darker uh, place. You, I wouldn't. St- Say that you would know that he is. You see signs of a um, of a of a city. He's, he grew up in a city. He's a city dweller um, from Trident, and but he is also poor, um, and he has been. His him and his family were enslaved. Um, he feels like he was enslaved. Um, to be servants in this uh, striad community in the upper dark. So he sort of enlightens you into the uh, relationship between the drow and the upper dark and how the drow were taken from the mid- middle dark and enslaved in the communities in the upper dark um, and used as, you know, um, a working force for for all, not just lower, not just high, higher class, but all um, of the classes use the drow. It's almost as if the drow were separated um, from that um, in a real t- sort of slave um, trade. But this, you got to remember, this is also, we're a hundred and some odd years in the past. So this is now going back another probably uh, 40 years. So, um, there you have it. This guy is from the Trident. There's a little bit of a story between him and his mom. So I think the name, um, Slate Counter will be, no, I'm sorry. What was his name? Uh, Slate Comer. Slate. Oh no. Slate Counter. Counter. Yeah. Slate Counter. Um, I'll hold on to Slate Counter for the future. Um, but you know that his that his uh, his mom was sort of uh, being uh, suited, being sodded, sodded, being uh, someone was trying to wed her. Some upper noble uh, class of trident uh, was trying, and you you wouldn't uh, recognize this, but uh, was trying to wed his mom, and that's what he was he was caring about when he was growing up and then you come out of it. Okay. Slate counter, Gotta write that down. Spencer, I think yes. you know where that needs to go. Slate counter? To the, uh, the mysterious um, switcheroo. The switcheroo? And Trigard. Oh yeah. Th- that's <laughs> the... That that's that's where Slate Counter goes. King Lolo. Yep. Mm. When we get there. Okay, so that was the know, that was the know. random um lore drop. I hope everyone likes the random lore drops that I do. Um I had no idea that, that was coming, but there you go. Thanks. Um thanks. You're Jake. welcome. Thanks, Jake. You're welcome. Yeah. I get one uh, one eaten brain. Can't kill Jake now. Those are fun. Um all right, so who's um Do these guys have cloaks on them? Um, yeah. Does anybody, yes. does any, can I, real quick, did anyone pull a brain from these guys to keep? Sprock A1. Sprock A1? All right, cool. Yeah. All right. So, you'll, you'll hear, um, if we put this other guy on the back of the one I animated, and we can tie him with some rope. I think we can just carry this extra guy around. Okay. And just co- wrap the cloak in tight over him so it looks like this guy has a lump or a humpback. So you guys are going to. Are We're you going to attack the dead guy, <laughs> to the animated guy, with some rope? Yeah. And the animated the guy. Rope, so he looks like Quasimodo. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Is there anything wrong with that, Mr. DM? No, that's good. That's good. 
Um, he just got yeah. I guess. What I mean, dream they, will they, you they, kill they, tonight? They were they're clean. They're clean kills. So you guys are gonna sort of tie them both together. Um, why so the red one ain't animated, and we're just gonna like lap this guy over him, arms over the shoulders, legs around his waist, and sort of just like strap him in there with some. I'm gonna look at and then be like, this guy what, this what, has what, a little what, bit of a stick though. What huh? are you gonna be using to tie them together? With Ignis's <laughs> rope, and I'm gonna ask Ignis to tie. Uh, wait, hold on, yeah. hold on. Who's doing the rope tie? <laughs> Who's doing the rope tie? <laughs> before, before we go to this, and also I have rope. I have a couple of questions. One, Sprock, you can still turn into animals and shit, right? Invisibly, yes. Like without becoming without invisible. Yeah. Okay, so that's question number one. Two, can we have this other dead guy's brain for the baby? He's a statue right now. Oh, dude. Because yeah. What when the sta- I, the statue lasts for an hour, or the dead? Yeah, guy but we're not going to take this. Oh, wait, it's okay. We'll come across. What? What? what when? when at, at the end of the hour, we can give the the brain to the baby. So, okay. <laughs> or or if we need a past time at some point. Like okay, so then my next little, question like, is is Sprock, can you just like vomit it into something and eat this baby? Eat this uh not the baby, sorry. Eat the uh <laughs> can you just turn into something and eat the other dead body? Like just turn into like a polar bear and eat this guy quickly and then we'll go do our plan. Wow. That's not that bad of an idea, but like, can't you eat shit? Like, as animals? Does that make sense to me? All right. I don't know, a bear? You can turn into a crocodile? Like, eat what eats whole, humans? You're watch, you know how long it's going to take? Uh, take it, okay, can he turn into please? Can he turn into a, a humpback whale yes. for two minutes? Yeah. So we just swallow into a, snake. a giant snake and just swallow him whole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That shit. Perfect. Uh, how long, you know how long is it? It would take two hours to swallow a whole, a whole, a whole drow. Not to be too no. dirty about it. <laughs> <laughs> we can oh shove it in there. <laughs> All right, are we doing? Are we? So you guys can do that, but you, you, you're we're gonna have to roll for some random. Um, well, I don't want to take two hours. We can't stand here for two hours while we eat something. I thought he bear. was gonna. Can I, I turn? Can I turn? Can I turn something animated into a gaseous form using a spell? Can you turn, oh, can you turn their body into a gaseous form? Yeah, I have I have the spell cast gaseous form. I think you can, but it requires. Um, I, I have to transform a willing creature. Is he willing, even though he's dead? No, he's not. I feel like the most willing. It, what is uh, there's been a lesson uh, being taught these last two sessions, and it's don't kill everyone. But here we go. Uh, we I think we can at Bernie. Something. I don't know. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Yeah, we can at Bernie. Something All right. good. I, I don't I like humpback. We you can, just want to tie some rope. We have new party characters. We have a, a dead anamorphic uh, drow skeleton statue guy. When when uh, I feel like this, things are looking up for the yeah. Good. When when this character needs to make weird movements, we'll roll for the roll. We'll roll for. <laughs> I'll give you an easy uh, rope rope check. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So All right. Let's do let's do our plan. plan. I think we have a good plan. We can dip Bernie's. Um, so oh. because he is uh, turquoise and red, I will make him uh, bright purple now to symbolize that he is two two people. And we'll put this guy over here for future um, falling apart right. if it happens. So let's go there. Yeah. Um, okay, so you guys are invisible. So, so yeah, where are you guys going to go? You guys are um, out of initiative. And as I said, so before, we're, we're going to are we going to do our plan? Like that's what we're going to do right now, right? Yeah. We're going to okay, walk do up it. and follow around with Humpback <laughs> Gerardo. That's his name. <laughs> So you you guys see these um, ceramorphs? There are there are uh, thirteen of them, and they all sort of seem like they're meditating. Um, 
you guys have your helmets on. This is going to be the first time that I make you guys roll a... Um, it'll be... Intelligence or wisdom. I think it's going to be wisdom. Uh... Um, I think it's going to be a wisdom uh, save, but it'll be a low one um, for these helmets. Now they did now uh, Naglin when he gave you these helmets to use for this, he did say that they are uh, old um, and weathered. So you guys will have, um, but you will, but you will have to make. Uh, so you, he doesn't. He was saying that they don't know how how strong they're going to be. Um, how well they're going to be, uh, how useful they're going to be back to back to back. But in, in this case, everyone give me a wisdom save. Um, as the there is a big wave of uh, kinetic sort of mind energy um, coming from this, you guys wouldn't necessarily be able to tell that uh, with the helmets on and a past and a past save. So everyone give me a wisdom save. 24. And 16. Those are, 16. Those are all passes. So you guys don't really feel, you guys feel like tingling on your arms, almost like uh, like your uh, little sort of kinetic energy. Um, you don't really know what energy that is that you're feeling um, or you're vibing, but um, there's something happening. You guys all, all made your saves. Um, I guess the baby... Well, I'll roll for the baby. Yeah, but the baby doesn't have. What do we say? She's the plus baby, two. The baby, it's, the baby's fine. But the baby is a ceramorph. Baby is a ceramorph, yeah. Um, but right. no, that's okay though. Baby ceramorphs. Um, that's not the only baby in this place. Um, all right. So you guys are. What's your plan? As you guys walk into this uh, center, you guys hear um some noise coming um you guys uh, passive perception gives you the ability to see that there are two hallways um to the right and to the left and there are noise coming from there's noises coming from both directions okay um i'm going to take but we're calm right now yeah i'm going to take the eyeball off of my hammer time and i'm going to put it on uh the statue dude and i would be like yo you want to go make him walk out and like get us a better view of what's going on in there yeah but oh. we're supposed to be together you're supposed to be leading me aaron if you want we can pop out and i put that in there it's place oh good idea nice yeah all right i'll take i'll take off a hit point for that <laughs> take off oh, yeah. a hit point from the inanimate the object from the yeah, popped out nine. What's his hit point? He's at fifty four right now. Okay, so he's at fifty three. No, he was fifty five total. He's <laughs> down to fifty four. <laughs> and I'll have him do a little uh, a pirouette dance. <laughs> oh, something slow. So uh, he's just dancing like Ernest. Can look around. No, uh, do a little twirl. Okay, flowing. Um, okay. He sees, uh, he doesn't have to do any saves because there's no, um, there's no brain in there to perceive. Um, but as he gets closer, I'm just going to move these guys there 20 feet. Um, the noise around the corners gets, gets close and you guys start to see, um, right as he's looking, but can he, oh, so Aaron, you're looking through the eye. Yeah. Give me how who's going to be rolling this perception check then? Would the Aranus or would they both? Aranus, give me a perception check with your eye. My hammer time eye. Yeah, give me, but it's got to be. It's still got to be. Um, Twenty-seven. It's going to be disadvantaged because there's still a lot of smoke. Twenty-one. Um. So you see that these uh, ceramorphs are not hooked up to any sort of device um there's no rigging or anything like that 
um, you see up close and personal that they are all indeed meditating. Um, they are all, with the exception of two, um, they are all, i got to write that down. There's two blue ceramorphs um, in there, and there's, and there's uh, that means that there's 11 um, gray ceramorphs in there. And they all seem to be short, um, gnomish, uh, with your high roll, uh, they seem to be like gnome ceramorphs of taken from people from Striad. Uh, but you wouldn't necessarily know that, but you just know that they're, they're like of the same size. Mm. And you know how, um, Sprock's face is all, all messed up and like disgusting and like his eyeballs falling out and bleeding and like he's got tentacles and crap coming out of XYZ places on his body, but you still know it's Sprock. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's like that, but like with gnomes, you know? Got it. Like hair, hair in weird places like Sprock, you know? Um, anyway, so you get that good look and just then, um, the guards come. And they're right around about to turn the corner. So I will let you. Um, what would your you like your guy like to do? Um, you guys know that um, the guards are coming. I would go up to who's controlling. It, that's your dude, right? Um, that's mine. Yeah. It starts, but we should play it cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna. I just. Stay there. See I mean, wait, just to be clear, when I say play cool, I mean be ready to do murders, but let's play so cool at first. Yeah. When I hear that, I'll tell the statue to stand at guard and I'll just be standing there looking down the hallway at us. Um, I'm going to kind of like poke back just enough to be able to like see around this hallway, but like right on the edge of it. <clears throat> so I'm looking at the hallway across from me. Okay. Gonna... Mm -hmm. So you see a similar looking um, drow, same same type of armor class, and I mean not armor class, but armor uh, robes uh, come around, and he is um, just doing what you think his normal card duties are. Um, now this this animated guy is he? How animated is he? Is he, uh, are you trying to use he, your magic can, to perform? Like, are you? Well, absolutely. I'm to, to weaken up Bernie's the crap out of the sky. Okay. So this guard, both guards are going to come out, um, and look to their immediate, you know, sides because they know that they were just walking by and they're going to see this one guard. Um, and the, and the people that they, that he can view, uh, let's see if they either I give them one perception roll each. Um, so thirteen, no, and a five, definitely not. So all they see are the weekend of Bur is the weekend of Bernie guy, sort of like a hump, hunchback, um, a hunchback uh, drow with uh, that's dancing in the middle, and they're going. No, to no, say, he's not dancing anymore. No, he's just he's just staring. Um, Stop. And they're going to say, uh, "Oh, you." Um, out of formation. No, actually, it's just his rush. Ah, uh, out of formation. Because there's Russian now. Thanks to Matt. <laughs> Let's see you out of uh, formation. You're welcome. Um, I'll have him. Um, I knock a bow, I knock an arrow in my bow, and I just wait for this dude to cross into my eyesight. Just to, just cross through to where I can see him. Stag is going to have the guy turn towards where the sound came from, do a little nod, and then start walking towards the hallway. Towards which hallway? Towards where, we're, where we are. Kind of like he's, I'm following. Back, backtracking? Yeah, like I'm following his uh, instructions of like, I'm out of formation. Okay. Um, um, give me a performance for his the way he does it, because he's two dead bodies, and this guy's got to carry two. He has bodies. a stat block. Hold on. <laughs> um, you can find a stat block <laughs> for an, an animated. Audience. 
Oh, dancing item stat block. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, per, uh, performance, you said? Yeah. Okay, so minus two for dancing item. Come on. That's a zero. A two minus That's two. not good. Zero is bad. All right, so... <laughs> it's not a one though. <laughs> so I'm gonna say a two. The, I'm gonna say the it's better than still, a one. He's still animated, but the other body falls off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, um, it's like, da 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 and uh, roll me a d4, Chris. Uh, three. So that raises the level to four of the alarm, um, and the two and the two uh, guards are going to come over, and everyone's going to have to roll initiative at this point because I think well, or you can explore. Well, as soon as the over, guard, they're, hold on, they're hold on. Over. As soon yeah. as yeah, we're, we all feel like we're ready. To I already have a bow. Uh, that's what I'm saying. As soon yeah. as the guard walks within sight, as soon as they take that step, I fire my bow in anticipation of them walking. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm hunting. Like this is we're, 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 right, we're, and I'm right, and I'm right behind him since we're not invisible. Like we're we've we've been very clearly what, these are yeah, two murders. I, I said as soon as he crosses, so across the the guard who is on uh, across uh, in the hallway across. Yeah, yeah that guy. Okay, um, so give, you guys will be able to go first. We still need to roll initiative though. That's fair. Uh, yeah. Um. I mean, I could if you guys Ooh, want to. Twenty. Okay. This is eight, but uh, advantage for initiative. Uh, you, no, you, no, you're not going to need it for the bow for the bow attack. Uh, no, because of, because of the smoke. That's all. That's the. Only I got thing. a nineteen. Yeah, you got this, these guys are. You guys are going to smoke these guys. Uh, they got a four and a one. But go ahead. Sixteen. Uh yeah okay, so Aaron, uh, you since you already readied your bow, um, you can you can get the uh, first uh, first shot before the initiative begins. Word, um, uh, sixteen to hit. That hits. And eight damage. Um. Okay, he doesn't die. All right. Hey, he's boom. Um, a noise. Ah. Ah. Um, Aaron, roll me a d4. Hmm. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> ah, got shot by an arrow. Uh, three. All right, you guys are at alarm level three. All right. Uh, large, no, sorry, seven. Not good. Three left. Um, ow, I got shot by an arrow. Um, <laughs> Matt, you're you're. <laughs> I literally, I'm shaking my head at Aaron. I was like, I thought we were in this together, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, man. And I, I fin I'm going to try and finish off the guy that Aaron shot first and then go for the next guy. So far right and then middle. Um, all right. So you're going to follow, you're going to hit the same guy? Yeah. So 115. That is. And one twenty. Okay, so it's Jesus. Hold on. All right. So on the first guy, it's sixteen, and on the second guy, it is oh, only six. How much is it? 16 on the first guy that Aaron hit. That hits. No, no, no. Damage. They both hit. I'm saying damage 16. Oh, that, that, uh, yeah, describe your kill. I, again, I scoff at Aaronus and I finish <laughs> off his mistake. Uh, but then to be fair, I, I'm really cocky about the first one and then I completely fuck up the second one and I, I only get him for six. And I hang my head in shame at Aranus to say we all make mistakes. What the fuck? Oh, you get two. You get two shots. Yeah. Okay. Um. So 
simple math would mean that that guy's at this. Okay. Um, oh, God, I got hit with an arrow, too. Uh, roll me a D4, Matt. Oh, God. Ooh, only one. Oh, my God. Okay, you guys are at alarm level eight. Not looking good. I feel like you guys need to be quiet or something. Nah. Nah, you're good. We just need to be better at killing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So that guy took two shots and he's still up. So Matt, you, so Aaron went, Matt went, now... It's uh, 19. Who, who got that? I think they, Chris got that. Stag. Stag. So this guy that they both shot, the same guy? This guy's dead. I'm going to make him. This guy's dead. I'm, I'm going to make Oh, him that guy's pink. dead? Yeah. Random pink guy is this dead. This guy's dead. So everyone's going to see. I'm going to, for my bonus action, I'm just going like, to use dead. that. Yeah. Um, I'll scooch myself back, and then I'll have my statue turn. Start walking to or hover towards this last other drow and open hand smack him across the face. Yo, wait, where did this? Where did this? Who is this drow? Where did this one come from? Oh, he, 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 you guys, you guys tied him like a hunchback of Notre Dame drow, and uh, Chris failed his performance, and the, and the drow fell off right in front of these guys. Oh, and that started, oh, guys, that started, he's the, not an enemy. No, he's a he's a dead drow. That's not even. Oh. <laughs> so it's a like plus eight. I told you that's exactly. What's Wait, I thought this guy came with the other guys. He's dead. This other guy, the, the guy that's on the ground is dead. The oh, next to me, he fell well, now, I, now that he's upside down, I know. Okay. So <laughs> does an eighteen hit? Yes, sir. So open hand smack for an eighteen across his face. Four <laughs> oh. Uh, for five bludgeoning. The loudest wow. of the attacks. Five. Wait, only five. Yeah, five. Ow, you hit my face. That really hurts. I don't like that. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Ow, you hit my face. That's my Russian. 1D4, please. Uh, that's a three. That's not good. So you guys are uh, reached alarm level 10, which means that um, uh, you've made Surprise, it took this long. enough noise to... Uh, send out a larger group of people. And you start hearing uh, Chris, um, left or right? Roll me a D, whatever. Left is going to be low uh, and right will be high. 12. You I would hear, do 20. Um, you hear, it'll, so it'll be right. You hear a lot of noise. Ah! Yeah. Come on, there's, there's ruckus this way. You hear a lot of clanking and, and um, uh, hollering coming from uh, the right hallway. As it's a little lower, you wouldn't know this because you can't see it, but that's a lot of guys. Um, All right. Wait, just so everyone knows, I'm gonna go walk my dog, but yeah. I'm on, I'm here. I just can't roll, so someone just gotta. I'll roll for you. Quickly. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll roll for you. Anyone but I'll, Spencer. I'll, I'll roll. For you. <laughs> and worry. also, I'm here, so you're not like picking actions for me. I'll, I'm just it, taking my dog outside. I just can't see the board no, for one can, minute. It would be extremely it. clear. You can see it on um, on Twitch and um, YouTube. And YouTube. So, uh, listen, guys. Uh, That's high. right. Smash that subscribe hey, button. Yeah, roll high. Uh, and subscribe. <laughs> roll high and subscribe, guys. Um. <laughs> And uh, you hear, you hear so remember that's promo code Doomhand at checkout. You hear a lot, a lot of noise um, coming from the from the right hallway. Um, and it's now Aaron's turn. Um, this guy doesn't look very good. He's not dead yet, though. He's still alive, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna run up and uh, does this guy count as my ally? Yes, he does. He is friendly to you. And I'm going to sneak attack him. I'm just going to sneak attack this dude. Why don't you just do that to begin with? With my uh, plus two dagger. Uh, 31 to hit. That hits, sir. All right. Eight damage. And then sneak attack. Hold on. 
21, so 29 damage. Um, describe your kill. It's insane. Like he only needed two, so it should be pretty bloody, I think. But yeah, I think he was already pretty fucked up. I just kind of walk up, kick him down, and just stab him in the back of the neck. Just put him out. Um, very eerie setting. Um, none of the mind flares. As you guys are collecting yourselves, trying to figure out what to do, now there's three dead drows. You hear the other drows. The alarm went off. Um, and you have eight. You had one D10. I rolled an eight. Um, drow coming down the hallway to, to see what the ruckus is about. Um, are we out of initiative? Yes. None of the mind flare ceramorphs have moved. Not even mm. like, not even, they're in such a trance that nothing. Bodies near the Ceramorphs. We should what? Eat their brains, Sprock, eat their brains for yeah. the dead bodies near the Ceramorphs. Yeah, we should just totally <laughs> the them. Wait, can we give one brain into the baby? Sure, but we gotta be quick. All right, let's go. Uh, Throw the bodies to the ceremonies. Don't know if you have time for the unless you want. You don't have time for the for the brain feeding of the baby. The baby's fine though. Baby, don't wake a sleeping so, baby. Don't wake a sleeping baby. Okay, okay that's great. That's great. Oh, do we hear all the footsteps coming down one of these hallways? And they yeah, one you all. One we, yeah, we rolled for that. It's on on the right side. Oh, all right. Yeah, we're out. <laughs> uh, Okay, and just as you guys are out, let me see. Um, just like, uh, just like in, just like in um, Metal Gear Solid, they're all going to come out, um, and they're going to do their like, hmm, what's going on here? And until uh, your next turn, they're going to, they're going to do their investigation. Unless I roll a very high one here with a drow, what's investigation? That's. Uh, Oh, fuck. Uh, see, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open it up in a second. Door. Investigation. They're gonna hop up on my. So they roll on a statue as we float out. They rolled a low um, investigation, so they're gonna sit here for a little bit and try to see what's going on. So I'll give you guys a turn or two. Um, as you come towards the end of the hallway, you see another. Um, there's another. There's another. Uh, a couple of drows uh, in your way. Um, let's see if we have too many of them. Uh, right before you make a right, you guys are running. Um, there's another drow uh, in your way, but I think that um, who's got who's invisible? Uh, Stag and Sprock. These drow are not looking for you, um, so they're sort of just on their standing um, side by side, sort of like uh, like those English um, soldiers that stand in front of the gate. I feel like it's kind of yeah. easy to sneak up on them. Um, they are just sitting tight, um, staring. I don't think, let's do a perception check for them. 17. This guy's going to notice people uh, coming, but he's, he's, oh no, you know, he's got a lot. You got, I got to do that twice. So it's actually a 12. So he's not going to see you um, coming. Uh, he's going to know that there's something over there. So he's going to start walking towards, towards that area. Um, but he can't make it out because of the smoke. Um, so you got a, you got a bunch of uh, soldiers in the back. Um, looking for what the commotion was, um, and then you have a drow coming for you um, in your direction. You've got in, a couple of invisible guys. So what do you guys want to do? Do we want to confuse the hell out of this guy? Um, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to have my statue just like hover out and make it look like he's running really fast running away from us or wait now run towards this side and down the other hall <laughs> you're gonna try to get him to chase the other guy <laughs> yep. um are you gonna do so 
He's just gonna see this guy go by. Yeah, so like arms moving like he's running in place, but hovering. Um, that's gonna have to be a, a, what you do. Just performance to, check with the uh, yeah to try to get to try because what you're trying to do is get him to chase you. Yeah. So I'll be minus two for the dancing items performance. And wouldn't wouldn't both the guards roll for that? Because what did they yes, both get? Yes, they would. They, uh, you would you'd roll. But, yeah. That that's a five. five is for performance. Seven. Yeah, for the for the gar uh, the animated item. I mean, like the, the performance is terrible, but he still gets over there. So how does the how does the yeah. running go, how does the running go? So he's gonna the. He's a, I, I feel like, like it's a little like, too high in the air. Like he falls over, he gets back up and keeps going, you know, or like, <laughs> is he, is he hovering? Is this guy hovering? He's hovering. Yeah. He's hovering. So like, I guess it's a giveaway a little bit. Um, he, he starts hovering a little too high up and feet off the ground. Clearly <laughs> he like falls, but he, he like slides a little bit. He like, not like he hits the ground, but there's no poof from the ground. But I think because these guys get each a, uh, Oh, nice! There you go. There's the there's the uh, disadvantage um, side check. They get a three plus a two. They get a five on their perception. With your uh, five on my yeah, performance, they're, they're gonna run. They're gonna be intrigued and run after you. But I think with your uh, to make it even, I think you'll get halfway down the hallway before they'll. Oh, yeah. But they're not gonna. But that's not there yet. We're not there yet. Um, so they're gonna run after you after that guy. That's hilarious. This is Rena. Rena rolled low during death saves and didn't get healed by his group. Don't be a Rena. Roll high and subscribe. Were you guys gonna do murdering? <laughs> <laughs> that was. Funny. Oh, that that's, that was that, that I would have. I would have had them start running, and I don't think they're gonna get to that hall before. Was very good. Um, Sprock. Do I get a cool point for that one? Yes. Sprock, give me perception. <laughs> give me a disadvantage perception. I get just a high five. Just like. <laughs> fucking, all right, Stag. I give Stag a high five. Invisible high five. Just you pulled your hand out. Oh, that's my. Like, no, you are, but you're so you, right. uh, Sprock, you see. You see in the distance, made it made out from the um, from the smoke. You see another, what you can, but you can tell to be a uh, a guard coming um, your way from that same area that um, from across the hall over here. Hmm. So you know there's a there's a guard over there. These guys okay. will be these guys will be further down though. Short um, I'm gonna. Oh, wait, who's who's whose turn is it? Um, you guys are open play. Oh, okay. Um, so then Crit I'm gonna cast invisibility. What are you gonna cast? Uh, invisibility on yourself. On okay. Yep, and I'm gonna uh stealthily like walk up this way. <laughs> you guys you love killing guys. Um, oh, you know what? Hold on one second. Let me roll for these guys in the back. No. Okay, never mind. Go ahead. Um, so yeah, I kind of, I pull up to this corner right here, and I just wait for him to turn, uh, to come down this way. Okay. Um. And. Yeah, he comes towards you. Yeah, so once he gets yeah, he's he, walking towards towards the commotion. Yeah, so basically once he gets, you know, starts walking past me, um, I'll uh turn around and kill him. Uh, I'm gonna swing with my um surprise two dagger. Okay. Yeah. Uh so advantage on on my attack mm -hmm. from the shadows. <laughs> uh, um uh, fifteen or sixteen or sixteen. That hits. All right. Uh, boom. Let's do it. Uh, nine damage and then sneak attack. 
21, so 30 damage. Ow, you stabbed me in the back. I'm just kidding. You don't have to. <laughs> My legs are hurt. They're severely. What is the, the Austin Powers? That's so funny. Um, yeah, you can't describe your kill. You just stab him. In the... uh, yeah, just uh, as he walks past, just slit his throat real quick and pull him back into the corner. Uh, away from the away from the tunnels, real real solid snake style. <laughs> Put him in the corner of this over here, right here. And drop him in the corner. Yeah. Okay. In his pockets real quick, see what he's got on him. <laughs> okay, I'm surprised you guys didn't um, roll me a uh, roll me an investigation. Fourteen. He's got um, he's got a short sword. And uh, a crossbow, just which is just like a normal, um, which is normal for these guards. But he also has like a little uh, insignia on him. Hmm. I'm gonna take that. Which hold on, it is a, and this should send you going. Um. Not the circle within the circle. Um, it is a Romy history check. Okay. History. Ooh, that's on. Twenty-eight. You know, you know. Oh, here it is. You know that this. Um, you were looking at the at the blue mind flare. You were like, ah, oh, gray, blue. That's weird. And now you um, you went into this guy's pockets and you, you stole a sword and a crossbow from him. But as you were doing it, a little piece of uh, uh, memorabilia fell out of, uh, of his pocket. And it is a Shrezel Colony uh, token. And if you remember what that is, it's like the uh, the circle with the circle on the side of it. It almost looks like a moon. Mm -hmm. Um, so this guy is walking around and you remember that, uh, with that high roll of history, you remember that the, uh, Shrezel colony, uh, what that symbol represents, um, the, uh, blue mind flare colony of the, in the wall dungeon, um, on the sea. Also, um, what was thought to be the, uh, Mind flares that don't that want to consume and become all. Uh, they're not like the great the the great mind flares that that uh, that Zuzos represents. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's that. There's one more, um, and he's going to hear the commotion. And I think the He's gonna start walking. So you hear you don't hear anything yet, but there is um one more. I guess you guys will know that there's one more. Uh maybe not. Maybe he doesn't move yet. What are you guys what are you guys uh, uh, gonna do? Um I guess I'm gonna just keep going to the back of this hallway. Uh as you get to the back of the hallway, there's nothing um in the in the area, uh, there's just smoke. Um, are the other is the other group members going to come? I'm assuming Matt's going to follow suit. Yeah, I'm going to sneak back. I'm going to just kind of like high sign. Oh well, oh there's a bunch of smoke, right? They can't see. Can they see this far? Uh, you can try to you can try to signal. Um, let's how how out. tall are the ceilings in here? I'm going to roll a uh, one roll for these guys back here. If it's above a ten. Start making their way back. It's 18. Okay, so these guys are all gonna split and slowly start making their way back uh, towards you guys, but you wouldn't know that. Uh, you will hear that chime noise. Um, chime again. Um, it's similar to the chime that uh, happened during the alarm, signaling that the alarm's off and over. Um, and I guess right before you guys moved off into your next uh, area, 
you'd hear a little bit of shuffling from behind coming down the hallway. Um, what was your question, Chris? Uh, how tall were the ceilings? Um, it's a cathedral, so pretty, pretty tall. I would say at least there are at least two stories, right? Isn't that usually like the going, the going rate for the height of a cathedral is at least a uh, two stories? But we got to remember, space is something that they, you don't want to waste in the underdark. So, I would say let's go twenty-five feet. Okay. And I'll have my statue float up after his run down there a bit. Just start floating? Yeah, I'll have him go straight up in the air. And since it's smoky, they should have a harder time seeing him. And I'll have him go up to the ceiling and then start coming back towards us. That's hilarious. Let's just like see. poltergeist style. Let's see if uh seven plus uh two, I believe it was. No, so nine does not see him. Actually, that's, that's I got to roll twice. Then that's a 19. That's a four, six. So neither one of them see the, once they look up, they can't see him anymore. So these guys are going okay. to put him down, put him to the side. These guys are going to have chased him down towards the middle. Um, and they will regroup with the other group as they come along. Your guy is going to start floating back to you. Um, oh, perfect. Jake, do you want to follow suit? Do you want to go down the other hallway? Yeah, follow suit. Okay. Um, and there's nothing in the way here, and this is where the real party begins. Because this is where uh, I was supposed to have planned stuff, and the computer didn't um, allow it. But have no fear, guys. Shit's about to get real weird. Um, Aaron, it's poke your head around the corner. Who's going first? I'm going first, man. I was done doing it. We're doing the whole thing. All right. Let me get that elder brain out there. Let me get that mind flare. But I'm not like yeah. just into this room. I'm like poking my head in, seeing what's, you know, just kind of like up around the corner. Give me that blue skull in there. <laughs> so there are. You know what? Um, Aaron. Roll me a D10. A D10. Don't lie. <laughs> Don't lie. Two. So there are two elder brains in there. Just kidding. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that would be fucking crazy. All right. So there, there are going to be two. Um, oh, man. That would be so weird. Chris, give me, um, give me a, D, a D10 as well. That is a nine. Nice. Okay. So there are going to be two uh, gnomes. Um, I don't know why the gnomes come in this like random box, but search gnome. There we go. This guy and this lady, I think. All right, so there are two, um, for what you can tell, they are, Aaron, what'd you roll? Uh, for what? The perception. Wait, you wanted me to roll perception? I didn't roll perception. Yeah, roll me perception. 19. All right, so you can see that there's a gray-looking elder brain. Um, there are two gnomes, um, that are not shackled. They are not, um, uh, afraid either. They're not, they're not like, uh, there's a, there's certainly a ceremony going on. There are nine, um, ceremorphs. But we know what the fucking ceremony is. They're yeah. fucking being to the brain dead fucking things over here until they yeah. fucking come we we know what it is. And uh, had more you can here. also see that there is a uh, so there's a little opening 
where the you see that they're all in some sort of trance, and there is a and now everyone give me a another wisdom, um, another wisdom save with for your helmets. This one's going to be a little bit harder. I'm going to use my favored by the gods, which lets me roll an additional two d four to add to this roll. I rolled a nine. That passes. Nice. Plus they do. Plus four, six, 16. That passes. Um, Matt rolls 12 plus whatever that, that passes. Lucky, lucky dog. And, uh, Jake, what do you want? Roll me um, a wisdom, a wisdom save with your guy. It should be pretty high though. Yeah, I think you're. He passively saves. Yeah. Fourteen. Right. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Twenty two. Right. So 22. you guys 22. feel this like kinetic energy um, go through you. All your, uh, Jake, your leftover weird hair that you have like randomly patched all over your disgusting body stands up, um, and. <laughs> What else is fine? Um, and you guys feel like, like you've uh, a wave of kinetic energy go through your body, um, but n- because of the helmets, um, nothing, nothing seems to come up. Um, but you do see, Aaron, you do see that there is a glowing blue. Uh, so underneath the, they're all looking at the elder brain. And the two gnomes are blindfolded, and they the gnomes are on a table, uh, leaning back, um, and there's a ceramorph standing over them with what looks like to be uh, a jug of water, and they're pinching out uh, these these tadpoles, and the tadpoles are hard to cling on to, and tadpoles keep dropping into the water. Um, but you you get the idea of what's happening. They're trying to um, ceramorph these guys, and um, they say, uh, "Chris, did we have a name for Booter's guy?" Um, it was a she. I believe so. I didn't. I have their notebook. No, I have it. Here, Booter's gnome, gnome female. They say Debo, yeah. uh, Debo Borgenine. <laughs> Debo Borgenine. Do you. Do you. Uh, step forward uh, and take what is ours? And she says, I do. I I do I do as a gnome with sort of high voice I do accept this, and then they say, uh, "Aaron, roll me a d10." Dun, dun, dun. Nine. Um. They say six, seven, eight, nine. They say, "Kathan Cormreel." <laughs> do you accept uh, what's coming your way? And he says, I do. Gladly, Keithan. I'll write that down because that could come up. Keithan with a K. Cormoreal. Um, and they are going to have the room um, is all, they're all looking at uh, the 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 gnomes. So they're all going to have disadvantage on their perception rolls. But you do notice, Aaron, as well as saying, that there is a pocket that this that this elder brain is levitating out of a big hole in the ground. And the hole in the ground, and I can draw it for you, um, is glowing with a blue haze. So there's a there's a gap, um, and there's just this light of blue coming out of the out of the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and save this uh, map for people that want to download it and 
play later on. Uh, I'm going to call it Harmony. Okay. Um, so, uh, what would you guys like to do? Um, okay. Are we going to talk to him or murder? I mean, you guys are invisible still. I'm, I'm going to kind of nod back. Well, because we just poked our heads in, right? Like, how much of... Well, you poked your head in. They can't, yeah. tell you, they can't tell you're there because uh, they have... Um, you guys Hold on, Ernest. Mindful. I'm going to turn back to them. I'm like, there's a lot of bodies in that room. I, I'll bring my statue up with, the, with your eyeball still on his face. Mm. <laughs> nice. Do, um, do you want a, a little... I, I can sort of like slip him on the side and if they see him they just think he's a guard wandering might yell at him yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna come back to you guys i'm like there's a lot of bodies in that room yeah i, I like the idea of you sending do you see the blue skull no but the hole the hole in the ground where the elder brain is levitating above has a blue mm -hmm. hue a blue light that's projecting it out from it okay oh Reach down and grab a uh, look at my uh, green skull. Does it glow? Your your skull? Yeah. Um. Murder. Murder. Roll me a. Let's see. <laughs> How do you, you remember? We're gonna shove that thing in your nose. How do you, <laughs> roll me a. I still am. I'm waiting till we get Dude, the blue skull uh, before I do it. Yeah. He's got the skull. Murder him. I guess they should glow when they're next to each other. Uh, I was yes, yes I was they gonna, should. All right. So I'll, 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 then I'll probably I'll if I see his green skull glow, I'm gonna reach into my pocket. And your red skull is also glowing. you be like, oh well, oh, fuck. Dope. Make that. Oh, we definitely have, We definitely are gonna murder this guy now. All right. So all right. Say, so I'll, no. Skulls glow when next to each other. Yeah, I love that. Okay. And I'm slowly going to creep this guy in just like on the edge and have him stand like post up on the wall like he's security. It's like like he's supposed to be there. <laughs> Should we do a performance? I don't know. I'm, I'm these, guys, these guys are all these guys. It'll be it'll be with advantage. A six. It'll be with advantage okay, because okay. they're not they're like in deep in. in that's the, that's a. A seven. Okay. Um, so well, he's the eight and the nine. Weird. Just do your act. Like, how does he? <laughs> well, he, he, he sort of just like peeks in, like bobs his head, sees if everyone's looking at him, then sort of like strolls over towards the wall and arms crossed. Aaron's just looking eyeball. around. So Aaron, yeah. Eyeball slugs, uh, rolling out of his eye. Let's just see. Hold on a second. No one with a four. No one sees the the roll of the ball fall out of his eye as he as he pushes it back in. How's that? That's that's hilarious. Perfect. That's so I'm funny. Looking, I'm looking in the hammer and I see the fucking thing roll, and I'm looking, I'm looking back. I'm just like, and I don't know where to look because he's still invisible. So I'm just looking, and I'm just like, what, what the fuck? Come on! That's I see so him push it back in. I slap him on the ass and say, "Look." Um. All right. Well. Here's our, uh, what, we're going to do this now? All right. While they're so, distracted? So I'm going to, I'm going to say to them, I'm like, I'm going to, um, I'm going to hold up a grenade. I'm like, I'm going to pull this pin and then we're going to throw it in the room right when it's going to explode. And then we're going to grab the skull and we're going to leave. Wait, but you don't see I'm this. Wait, wait, wait. You don't see this. Wait, 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 wait. You just no, see. No, I, I, we, I, I know, but. We see the blue hue. We Can know we, the skull is there. I no, wait, know. Hold on. Aaron, there's, there's, there's the, the middle. Hole. There's a hole in the in the floor where the 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 elder brain is levitating above, and from the floor, from the hole in the floor, there's a blue light coming out. That's what. Yeah. That's what. That's where. So you have to go down. Wait, to, uh, to get. Can it. I see how how big is that hole? Can I see it, how? It, it's, um, an elder brain. I gotta say, it's probably what. Uh, 
wingspan. It's probably about ten. It's probably about eight feet. Um, so okay, you're looking at the, the hole. Like, the hole is probably a ten foot wide hole around. All right, so this is pretty big. But it wait, would be, it would be a perfect circle. Let's say eleven feet around. It would be perfect circle, uh, beautifully crafted too, uh, for the. Before you go deeper down your rabbit hole, Aranus, our two skulls are close together, so they're going to be glowing because they're close to each other. Not necessarily the other one is glowing because it's there. This is the first time we've seen them. Is this the first time we've seen them glow? Yes. Well, also, would they also be perpetually glowing between us, or do they not because we have like have the symbol... Wait, yeah, 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 hold on. How does this work? Because maybe you need three. Maybe there needs to be three. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There needs to be three. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> There's three. All right. Yeah. When do they, they only so glow? The when first time three. that either one of them have glown, and there's a blue glowy thing in the ground. All right. Fantastic. All right. Let's do some murder. Ooh. Wait, Aranus. Yes. You're about to throw a grenade. Yes. I have I two grenades. Oh, you I, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you didn't know grenade. I had a grenade. You no, no, no. Throw. We should throw all the grenades. I Wait, thought. hold on. Before you Once. throw grenades, give Wait, my... Before? No, give Bernie I've already grenades. pulled both pins. Yeah, no, let's give it... Oh, good idea. Give the Bernie so you guys can like have that. your bows ready. You yeah. have Bernie run in and throw both of the grenades... Wherever we want them. Are you, are you making well, both of and, and hug? I think. <laughs> I think he should run. He should it's take the bones of the brain. He should. He should run and hug the elder brain. Yeah. Just try to like stab. <laughs> yeah. Him exactly. It. Just yeah, put exactly. both arms yeah. into it. And run up. arms out. Grenade Blow on to a side box. You're making kamikaze, Bernie. Bernie the kamikaze. Yeah. We're we're kamikaze and Bernie <laughs> yes. for sure. <laughs> I mean, there's honestly, there's no other way to do it. There's no other way to play this. There's no other way to play this. I think that's the that's the way. And then the last grenade is for anyone we see moving, like at the end. Of it. We just throw yeah, it. we just huck it at the same time as he gets to the elder brain. So even if they stop him, the one grenade should blow up the other two, no matter what. So we're good to go. All the pins are pulled. There's no turning back. And as those Who grenades are going to take out the we brain. we have <laughs> no of course not we have arrows knocked and ready to go i assume we're just so like it's it's a it's, it's a simultaneous it's, it's, it's just grenade it's, it's, and arrow it's, attack yeah or here's another idea we could have bernie sanders run out there with the two grenades throw them to the side and then slide underneath the other brain into the pit and try and get whatever's in there. I like that. And then while we're distracting everyone by going out killing them, have Bernie try and bolt out to us. Because he can float and he can hover out of the, the pit. Interesting. Interesting. You, but you don't even know how big the pit is. We have oh, Aaron's eyeball in it. We can sit in there. Bernie gets everyone's everyone's attention. He's like, I'm gonna ask you again for your support. And then, <laughs> and then everyone's like, what the fuck? And then you guys slip and slide in. Like that might not that might not be a bad idea, you know. Up to you. That's I'll great. Like, more of those roses flyers. Just, like he dips down and throws the grenades up as he dips down, so he throws yeah. them where it's mm -hmm. And dips down. What if he does Chris's plan but holds on to the grenades and tries to explode the elder brain from underneath? But if the Chris the skull's in there, we could blow up the skull. We, yeah. Oh, this skull's gonna blow up at the magical skull. We don't that. know what else is in there that we want to thieve. I mean, be it's true. Aranus has the hammer, so we can send yeah, I, have I, have you start peppering everyone with arrows as He's in there. Okay, and guys, I don't know if this spells. is a good time to share this piece of information. I only have three arrows, which is not going to be. <laughs> 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 I've been running low Matt, for a while. Matt, I will help you out with projectiles when when you, when you need it, but it'll be a little. Well, no, you don't need to. Well, help were you out. able to like that. salvage any from the? No, I'm including the, the salvage. I'm including the salvage. Uh, <laughs> but I do have my rope arrow. 
which I feel like is is reusable, obviously, depending. It had Spencer already assigned it its own HP, so we'll see how that goes. But I think Aaron picks up a, cro- a crossbow with a couple arrows on it. So you get you, if you, if Aaron wants to share his well crossbow bolts. I mean, what? Well, yeah, yeah, not they're not arrows. Crossbow. I don't shoot Wait, crossbow. Take the, crossbow. Take the whole thing. There you take go. the crossbow. The quiver, I'll, I'll give the you. Bolts. I'll give you the one off of Bernie. He doesn't need it. <laughs> what does he have? <laughs> I'll, bring, I'll slowly slink Bernie out of there. <laughs> Here, you can have this one. You pull it out of Bernie. There you go. So, uh, so I give him five well, arrows. Fuck okay. it. There you go. <laughs> uh, right, look, so we got some arrows. Okay, we're, we're in better shape. So what are we doing? So what are we doing? Are we going? Are we going uh, wild? Or are we going? In? You do. Uh, I think we're going to wild kamikaze. Everyone okay. shoots all at the same time. At whatever they got at the guy at the elder brain, we try and do as much damage to the elder brain and one hit before it knows we're there. Time no, no, attack. No. It's because uh, hold on, Bernie's already in the room, right? And he's not been noticed. So he he's he's slunk back out for us to get the. He's like on yeah, he's on the edge. So yeah. He slunk back out. We handed him grenades. He goes walks. <laughs> well, no. No, he's not in there yet. We're we're prepping, but he's he's right here. Grenades. He's ready to take the grenades. He's excited about it. <laughs> right. got, so, so are you? So how are you guys going to get? So, I mean, if you guys go in there and try to kill this thing, you got an elder brain. You got one, two, three. I four. think we're just. You also. I have, think we're just trying to. You also have one. Steal it and run. You also have one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. You guys got ten um, guards that are coming your way. I don't nice. know. I don't quite know what the cer- the, the uh, ceremonies are going to do because they are um, in a trance. But if you attack the elder brain, then that might break the. It probably will break the trance. So we'll you guys kill them lot, too. I'm not bad it. guys. All we have to do is flee to the portal. Yep. So portal's a choke point. We got to get get them there. All right. Okay, so maybe the kamikaze idea isn't the best idea. <laughs> oh, here's the other thing. Sprock, do you want to be a little mouse and crawl in there? Ooh. Oh, good one. Wow. I'll shape it into a mouse. There he is. And then, and then take the skull as part of you and then come out. Shove the skull up your. <laughs> Who knows what? It's a thick mouse. <laughs> I can also, if Jay's not there, I can, I can, I can create a mouse. Wait, like, uh, mm. can he pick things up? I, uh, it's the same things that Jay could do. It's just Wait, a mouse okay. stat block. Ignis. Yes. I can make you greatly invisible. Me? Yes. Yeah, so if I can't you, become want, a mouse, I can't become no, a mouse. You are very stealthy. It's true. I can make you greatly <laughs> invisible to try and have you sneak in there under this elder brain, steal whatever's in there, and come back out because you are the best rogue. Uh, yeah, I think that's true. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> I can I can give you a greater invisibility. Aaron is Aaron is hasn't been serious. <laughs> I immediately cast invisibility. The two rogues. I immediately in. cast invisibility and I just walk out. <laughs> I so, walk. so I'll I'll turn to Ignis and I'll say you you only have a minute. All right, let's so last a minute. Is there anything oh, else? Wait. And on top of that, before before you do that, I I hold on. Let me just make sure. The I'm going to use a bonus action. I'm going to I'm going to click my my boot heels together, and I'm going to activate my boots of speed. Do you want me to hold on to baby because baby will no longer be invisible? I'll, no, I'll kill you. You could put baby on on the statue on Bernie. No, you that's okay. Leave, you could leave baby near near the no. Okay. Because so so there's so gonna Aaron be a is floating baby. So you're saying <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be a floating baby. Amos is already out there. Let him go. I'm this, not gonna this, be the baby. This, this <laughs> is the best. This is the best alibi. But I am. St- like, I am. Don't worry. All right. So 
Go, oh, but the baby's oh, already yeah. invisible. Oh, but you, when you do the new one, I it, will it cancels that, that yeah. old one. Yeah. That's so I'll true. whisper something into your ear and uh, gently touch you, and you become greatly invisible. Are you guys gonna slip and slide down there? Yeah, I'm. I'm already. I'm already I'm, 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 Ernest is already both gone. Of you, <laughs> both of you give me a a uh, an advantaged uh, stealth check to get to slip and slide down there, and then give me an acrobatics to get down the the hole that you guys are just jumping down. Ignis, you have no restrictions on what you can and can't do. You what can you shoot. Mean? You can do anything. Twenty-seven and twenty-six on my stealth. Twenty-two on acrobatics. 28 on stealth and 22 on acrobatics. Oh, yeah. So 27 on stealth and 23 on acrobatics. So this looks dope. Uh, what just happened was really cool. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just going to change this room. Right We're going to find out who the better room is. <laughs> I feel like we're going in and it's just going to be the two of us against 12 mind flares in a second but no, it's gonna be, uh, <laughs> here we go all right so you guys are it's, it's definitely a trap we're going to need sprock oh, to talk yeah. about this one. definitely a trap there's no uh if and or bust so um aaron what'd you roll on your um deception my deception i mean your uh oh. sorry the um the What'd you roll on your um... acrobatics? Yeah, stealth. Your stealth. You guys both had to give me a stealth check. Yeah. You guys both had yeah. to give me a which were was going to be advantage, and then you guys got to give me a, a regular stealth, uh, regular sorry acrobatics to get down. It's about twenty right. feet. Yeah. So I rolled uh, so twenty eight and twenty five for stealth, and I so twenty eight, and then twenty two for acrobatics. Yeah. Okay. So you guys, I got 27 for stealth and 23 for acrobatics. Right. You guys both fall. You guys both land on your feet. I guess Aaron is first because he's the one who jumped down. Um, and right in front of you. Uh, I've been down here, actually. Just point out, I've been down here. He was, he, he... <laughs> <laughs> I've been here waiting, waiting patiently. Um, is a in the right in the center the the ground is sort of uh give me a perception check uh aaron since you went first oh because you've been down there do it. i get it i get it i didn't say anything that's what chris trying to start trouble <laughs> 22. um all right. Dad's trying to divide us so right he can get to me i know right. his tricks you know how in uh the term the terminator movies when they uh they teleport. They they create that like melted circle, and like the ground is has that circular, uh, sort of concave, uh, perfectly concaved like circle into it. It looks like that, and this this like skull, this blue skull, is emitting um, straight up this um, this hole to this elder brain, this blue hue, and um, just as you land, you hear this. Hello. Hmm. They didn't tell me. We're invisible. Uh, he's a he's a. That's that's oh, what okay. makes it. That's what makes it worse for you. Okay. Um, and you see out of the corner of your eye, you see a, and I have to describe it to you, um, because I won't be able to. Uh, place it. Let's do. Uh, You see a blue hued um, elder brain dragon. But are you guys dressed up as? Are you? How are you dressed? Let's let's ask that question first. Are you part of this? Well, I'm in I'm in ceremonial robes. Okay. Um, yeah, I, think, I think we all are, except for Agnes, who's naked. 
Well, <laughs> remember because when he got naked earlier <laughs> we were all confused about that <laughs> yeah it was weird yeah it was, i totally um i'm just gonna pick a weird a weird dragon for him to be um there's too many of them to choose so i'm just gonna pick this Every guy when i take that blue squid it just disappears in front of your face so there's a blue dragon um a blue, blue look, dragon. A blue looking dragon. It says hello. Um, but he is actually a ceramorph. Um a ceramorph dragon, uh known as an elder brain dragon. This is Crosby. Crosby failed a deck save, causing him to get smashed by a giant alchemist in the Shadow Hide realm. Don't be a Crosby. Roll high and subscribe. And There are, and he's blue, and he looks at Aaron, and he says, mm. Drowse, and he tries to read your mind. Aaron, this is a very, very, very important role you're about to have, <laughs> and, so is, and so, is, uh, so is yours, Matt, um, but I'm going to do Aaron mm. first, because he, you know, he's been down there. We've been down there for a while. For a while. A while. <laughs> Right. So he's cool because I'm boys with dragons. So this is gonna go well. <laughs> <laughs> dragons are my people. That's my thing. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I remember you talking to a dragon above the whirlpool. I immediately burst into, "Hey, what's going on?" In Draconic. just to see what happens. So, Aaron, what's your? Uh... What's your wisdom save with your uh, Magneto helmet? Magneto helm? I think you're Maybe. muted. Yeah. What Magneto helm? You guys are wearing Magneto helmets. Uh, yeah. That's the reason why the that's oh. the reason why the um, the mind the players could, they couldn't read your mind. Um. Well, I have a six. I forget what the what the bonus was on the helm. You have a six. I, I don't think that's a bonus. It's just it's just the like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's advantage. I don't think it's advantage. You got no. six. I'm sorry. I yeah, spoke. Oh, okay. So, so do you have luck? Oh, I do have luck. That's true. Yeah, let me use my luck. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, an important. He's gonna look over time. He's gonna look over time. He's gonna look over time. Got an eight. That's fucked up. All right. Was yeah, that a one? Was that a one? I did. There was a one in there. I gotta get out of there. Uh, he is going. The elder brain is going to read your mind, and he is going to know literally everything. Everything that you're trying to do, everything that where you came, um, and he's going to tell you, uh, "Hello, Aranus. See here that you're the red. You're the red hero. I've been sent here. It may look like I'm guarding the skull, but from what you've been able to put together, and you look at him. Um, give me a perception check, Aranus." Uh, is it smoky down here? Yes. So disadvantage or mm -hmm. twelve? You see, he is branded all over his body with those oh, um, Shrezel Mind Flare um, symbols with the the Earth and the Moon, and you also see. That there's a large hole in the wall, in the ground, or in, sorry, in the wall behind him, almost like a cave, um, and noise is coming from from that uh, area. And he sh shares with you. He says, "I can read your mind, and I can tell that this siege was successful." Um, and 
then Matt, you're going to drop in. Uh, hey, man, we're going to grab this skull, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, give me, Matt, give me a... That's a cool point. Yeah? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> give me a wisdom save just to see if you can read your mind. 16. Um... He does not read your mind, and he. Says, I, I'm gonna just speak to him and. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, you go. I'm gonna say I'm gonna speak to him in Draconic after he. I he doesn't read my mind. I'm just like, hey, man, we're just gonna grab this and get out of here. Thanks. See you later. And I go to grab the skull. Um. Okay, so he is. No, I'm nonchalant. It's cool. He's going to be so. Yeah, so he, so he also knows that the Shrezel, he through Aaron's fail, he also sees that he also sees it's a hard that, way to put it, but yeah, he also sees <laughs> that, um, but he also sees that later on down the road, Doomhand takes the Blue Skull, which they're after. Um, right. So, can I can I use a turn to to do a uh, intelligence check on a dragon, one of my favorite enemies, sure. yeah. or like a, a yeah, moment. yeah, yeah, just like because this is a, essentially this is a ceramorph dragon. I think that's how they describe it. But you better not. Oh, geez. Him I only got a ten. But I'm just trying to think about him. Yeah. What are you trying to think about? Anything I know about this particular dragon. Dragons are like my specialty. You know that Ceramorph dragons um, are under the mind control of the the Elder Brain, which is not the Elder Brain above. Um, this is gotcha. The, this is a blue a blue look looking dragon. So you do you know from your stories with the guys that there are two types of. Uh, mind flares. So you know that, the, yeah, that, yeah. that that you also probably know, and you could put together because you're intelligent enough. Give me a wisdom save. All right, this might be intelligence. Twenty one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So twenty one. Oh, well, that's maybe that's, maybe that's fine. nineteen. Yeah. Um. So you're able to with those high rolls, you're able to put it together that this is the night that Striad probably gets destroyed because this this dragon just came out of this hole and there's a bunch of noise coming from the other end um which sounds like clanking of armor and clattering um but there's also uh, a big what if here and you know that the dragon is reading Aranus's mind or maybe you don't but you know so i have an idea though so i'm going to say a dragon the, yeah in Draconic, I'm just going to go to him and be like, look, very, again, very calm. You know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. You know what needs to happen right now. So let's just, let's just skip to the end and let's get the skull and get out of here. So does he give you, like this, does he give you the skull? And well, he's reading Aranus's mind, right? So he knows exactly the future. He's going to say, you, helmet wearer, you're asking me to hold off on devouring you now. At least one of us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Aaron, if you speak draconic, like, can I say that without you knowing? Uh, I don't speak Draconic, no. Okay, yeah, so I, I say that in Draconic, so he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> if I... I do speak Draconic, damn it! <laughs> so he says, he, says if, he, says, he says to you, the future hasn't, has not been written for me. He says, the future has not been written for me, but it has been written for you. Yeah. So if I were to give you this blue skull now, then I know you have it in the future. If mm. I don't give it to you now, then it will go to him. Good point. 
Give us the skull. Um, Do you want a second? Uh, Aaron, give me a uh, persuasion check. Eight. This man does not speak draconic. I only want to speak with you. Um, yes, I know. I agree. He says, I agree. He says to you, my whole... My, uh, and, my draconic is old school. And his entire... His entire... Um, <laughs> his entire army is starting to, to appear behind him, getting ready to take over Striad. Um, he says to you, we're taking this town over, you know. There's no yeah, stopping. that's all right. No. There's no stopping us don't, now. Don't even worry um, about that. I says, really... That's... Do you want help? He says no. Okay. He says, uh, what's he going to do here? If he attacks you guys, I think you guys die. Well, here's the thing. Um, he is going to ask you for a, uh, do you have anything that I can use? That's what I'm saying. I don't care about Shryad. I just want the skull. Well, I want the skull too. But you're saying that I have to come to you in the future. At least I know where it is. Safe. Yeah, that's fine. I'll tell you what. Let me take it now. I'll hold on to it. When you need it, you come find me. I feel like we might cross paths again. Don't worry about it. I'll give it back to you after we're done. No. We have these other two, How, I promise. You give me that child. I'll hold on to it. When I come to you, then we'll make the trade. Oh. No, that's okay. No. All right. I don't think so. Um, roll me a... So you guys are going to have... Um, they're clanking and clogging. Now this whole thing is going to have a... Um, who's grabbing the skull is the question. Fairness? Are you there? Why don't you just invisible make? Why can't you guys join us in this area? I don't understand. Because uh, that's underneath the yeah. Skull. The, guy, the guys are up there. The... Because the the suits and armor start coming after you up top. No, I understand that, but they saw what we did. So can't we just grab the skull and exit? No, we have to exit into the portal that's out. I don't know, I know. but from where me and Aranus are now, can't we just yeah. make it the same way we dashed in, can't we make an attempt to dash out with the skull? I Yeah, I think so. So yeah, what, are you, gonna... what are you guys going to try to do? Just so now so he's he's proposed that you leave him the baby and meet him in the future a hundred years from now and they will trade mm -hmm. you the babies uh whatever kind of ceremorph it is for the for the blue skull in the future. Right. I very plainly rejected that deal and I'm and saying so, that so, we're gonna try and, and so escape now, with the skull. I'm I'm going to as the DM give you a subtle hint that you have each one action you can take right now and then roll initiative, and everyone's going to roll because it's going to. I I but what I'm not understanding is we got do into this area. Do I get a turn? You got a, you got a turn. Good question. Good question. You get a turn. Okay, but can we escape the same way we came in? That's what I'm unclear about. It's a it's twenty feet up. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going first, but I look at Aranus. I say, grab the skull. I grab and, the skull with, and I sh I use my new tool, my rope tool, mm -hmm. and which I just recently received from the same town that we're in. And I say, grab on, and I fire the rope, my grappling hook, and until we try and escape. Give me a. Um... Well, it has its own. You gave me a stats for so it. You guys are both going to essentially. Aaron's going to grab the thing and and jump on uh, Matt, and you're going to use the thing to get up. Correct. Like yeah, that, like, like you know, Batman, Batman style. style. Okay. Yeah. 
gives like the, Aaron is his Catwoman, and I'm Batman. But your, but your rope is not. <laughs> but your rope is not. Uh, but your rope is not um, a grab a Gatling gun or whatever it is. No, it is. Have. It literally is. No, it's not a gun, but it's. But we discussed it. You said I could pick anything I wanted, and you gave me stats for this. Oh, it's an it's hour, a you it's use the crossbow yeah. that you got. It's a crank. So you're gonna. You're no, gonna it's a, it. it's a bow. It's a bow. It fits my bow. bow. You said it fits my bow, and yeah. I can shoot it. It's plus fourteen to hit. It's shot from my bow, and ropes have fourteen hit points. What are the stats uh, you get? Dungeon masters eat their words. That's what we do for a living. We eat their words. <laughs> Roll high and subscribe, guys. Um, all right, go. So, so Aaron. All right, twenty-five. Thing, hold on. First things first. Oh wait, no, Aaron, Aaron is first. Aaron is, you roll that slick, slippery. You're, you're, you're like, you're all fucked up. But uh, you, you, you got your all like, ones out of the give way. Me an athletics check. Yeah. This is time to be the number one rogue right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me an athletics, uh, athletics check. You're gonna grab the the skull and jump onto Matt, and he's gonna Batman you the fuck out of there. Is that's what happened. <laughs> What does that mean? Like catch it, like running, catching it, swimming. It's like yes, you can do. Acrobatics. We got a little sleight of hand, acrobatics. You can always ask me for something else. I'll always usually say yes. Right, Twenty-one. All right. Oh, so let's go. Describe this. So this this uh, disgusting elder brain. I don't know if you've ever seen one. Uh, what it looks like online, but it's disgusting. Uh, is slapping and slaughtering at uh, at Matt with, in draconic, and he says. Uh, yeah, 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 and all the tentacles and shit. Jake probably knows. And uh, you sliding, what do you do? Um, yeah, no, I run up, I grab the the skull, I grab Matt who shoots up the thing. Um, and Matt? We fly up. What do you roll to, to hit? I rolled a 25. And? You guys, and what do you do? You press the button and it slap, slips out of there? This guy's going to shoot. Uh, yeah, fire an arrow, yeah. Um, as you guys it's like one thing. It's like its own contraption. I feel like this guy should get a attack on you, just in case. Um, as that whole because that's two actions. Let's see. Should he shoot tadpole? Oh, it's all pretty happen. Happened pretty fast. I don't know. Well, maybe the dragon shoots up some fire out of the hole and hits the elder brain. Yeah, you that's know true. Um. He doesn't he's want that, shoot. but we should probably just assume. He's going to shoot his, his tad... Or he does want that. He's going to shoot his tadpole brine breath at you. Oh. 120 foot line, 15 feet wide. Each creature in the area must make a 22 constitution saving throw. Let's go, baby. But I have to... 22. I can't even possibly get that high. Mm. It's not going to be good for you. The elder brain has to do it too, then, right? It if they're be, up at the top, yeah. it might be morphing time. Uh, nineteen. Um. Okay. So that that hits. Is this a deck save? What What does it say? Um, oh, Constitution save. Fifteen. Um. You guys. You guys both take ten d ten. Damn. What? Yeah. And just click that. Ten D ten? Yeah. That's a lot. That's too many. A lot of D I feel like I have to roll this. You you, you two are battling to be the best rogue. Spencer's letting everything out. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want ever you Chris so you started this. I didn't want to be the best rogue. I, I was gonna kind of Misty step shot. out of the fucking pit, but he was trying to use it. I was well, trying to make my statue do it. And y'all were like, we're gonna work though. We should have tried to kill the elder brain. The elder this dragon would have been would would not have realized anyone was in here. Because it could have to get plus four, plus ten, plus two. Is it two plus four plus two plus ten plus eight plus two plus seven plus three plus three plus four? Forty-five psychic damage. Ooh. Okay, not bad, not bad. Each of you. However, so we escape. Here's the funny thing, though. Nice. However, however, if the creature is targeted, hold on. Um, on a success or fail, if the creature isn't 
a construct or an undead, it becomes infested with illithid tadpoles. <laughs> and uh, while infested, the creature takes 16 psychic damage at the start of their turns. If the creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of the turn, ending the uh, the save. Okay. So you can you're you take. Um, so, but we escape. We escape the dragon. Yes, you guys pop out okay. and go back to your. I want to save this as uh, the under area for this. So, and we have the blue skull. Good work. For those of you who want to play this later on, under. Ground um, harmony as well. Say that as, and we're gonna pop up 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 top. All right, you guys here. Um, those of you still there, you, you see this blast of of uh, liquid shoot out. Uh, Aaron pops out, and so does uh, Ignis. I'm assuming that the that you guys are sort of over here. Um, all of a sudden. Everyone can see this. The room stops. Um, there is no. There's no longer this like. Well, you see that the two dwarves are in the middle of converging into, into uh, their ceramorphs. So, the good. The only good thing that has happened here is that the ceramorphous process has begun with the dwarves, um, or the the gnomes rather. But the other ceramorphs, uh, the elder brain, getting hit with the um with the tadpole brine is going to um plane shift because that he doesn't want that um he's going to plane shift out of there and then you got the ceramorphs that are standing here so Aranus and um matt you guys are up uh, actually, the whole the whole i mean you guys are there's a there's a dragon downstairs coming for you guys, um, mm -hmm. with along with an uh, an army of uh, what you can tell are probably mind flayer ceramorph uh, type. No, I have to ask you a very important question. Yes, am I still invisible? Did you go invisible? I was. I went invisible before we ran down, and I jumped down there. Were you holding concentration? Well, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know, Chris. You made me like super invisible. What's my? Yeah, I, I'm holding your concentration, so you're you're yeah. fine. You're saying I'm super you invisible. Well, the only thing, thing I did down there was get mind rolled, and I grabbed the blue skulls. So Joe, it's really it's it, 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 it will getting hit by something. Um, if you take damage, you have to make a oh, concentration so check. So oh, give me, so do a concentration check because you took damage. But it's you have to beat a. How much damage did you take? 40. 45. So you have to beat a 23. I did not beat. I got 8. I got a 16, which seemed good no. until Chris explained the rule. Well, no, that that's just for... That's for Aranus's... Oh, okay. Well. All right. I, either way, Aranus, I think we need to run. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think we need to be on a dead sprint right now. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. As I see Ignis coming, I'll... Uh, uh, you don't see me already over here? <laughs> I'll, uh... <laughs> All right, every, um... I'll, I'll whisper to Ignis, come to me, sweet child, and I'll give you some healing. Um, oh, thank you. Matt, give What me... are you giving me? Uh, three... Plus three... Plus one. That's seven plus four. <laughs> Eleven... Healing uh, hit points of healing. Okay. Um, I rubbed I'll, his cheek to reward him for that nice behavior. I'm like, okay, I actually needed that. Thank you. Uh, and I'll hop on the back of Bernie's back and we'll fly out of there. Matt, give, yeah, me, a, uh, let's go. give me a. Um, shit, what was I going to say? I think the way this is going to work is. Um, you guys are running now out of there? I am going to cast Summon Beast. All right, and I'm so going to summon something I can ride on. The as soon as you guys get to the corner, the dragon's going to shoot up. Um, but what you, will, what you will notice is um, that you guys are not alone. 
and the Ceramorphs are going to start to attack the uh, the dragon, sort of. Good. Let's get the fuck out of here. But I will tell you this: um, the rest of this portion. Are you guys so? I mean, I guess it sort of depends on what happens with the dragon and the Ceramorphs. Um, and I'll figure out how to. Ru- I'm going to figure out how to run this. Um, we can try to get out of here. Do you guys want to play and try to get out of here tonight? Um, and then as soon as you get out of the towards the entrance, then we'll. Or. All right. Well, let's just, let's, just could, see, let's see how it goes to begin with. We we can run out, and since we're in like costumes, tell them that there's a dragon in the other room, and they're going to hear all the screams. It's true. We're still dressed appropriately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck a dragon! A dragon! We just start running out and just get start running. sprinting and screaming that there's a dragon. Yeah. Uh, Interrupting the ceremony. Right. A dragon. As you guys come, the ceremony. As you guys get to the, yeah, the harmony. There's no harmony here. Uh, <laughs> a dragon is destroying the harmony. Um, come out to the middle where these guys were, these dumb uh, guards were trying to chase you. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Who's doing it? Who's leading the charge? I think Aaron's leading uh, the charge, right? Well, I, I would say Stag would be leading the charge right yeah, on the back of Stag. performance. Yeah. yeah. Right on the back riding, of this guy. Right on the back, back of Bernie. Guy. This guy's dead, too. <laughs> We got you. <laughs> There's a dragon back there. This guy's been dead the whole time. Okay, they killed uh, our friend. Give me a persuasion check to make them. I mean, there's noises of a dragon. So give me persuasion. a persuasion. Yeah. There's these um these these guards these thirteen guards that you guys tricked um are furious and they're like ah oh, there they are the ones we want and all of a sudden there's a big boom. Um, Twenty five. Roar. Okay, so they definitely believe you. What do you tell them? There's a dragon. Holy shit, they're killing everyone. Where? Get it, go get it. Get in there. Go go take the other route. In the harmony. We're trying to evacuate the I hope I hope um There's there's no harmony here tonight. I hope they say I hope Des Duzos is okay. And they uh run in there um mm. and try to uh they run past you guys. Um, as you guys run down the hallway, um, it's, it's still smoky. Um, you see some, um, and this is going to be fun. You see, you get towards the end, um, it doesn't come all the way over. Um, that first little entrance area where you see there are, there are, uh, there are like six dead. Um, actually, there's only two. There's two of each, two gray and two blue um, ceramorphs, and there's actually a drow um, attacking the gray, uh, the gray um, ceramorph, ceramorph, and the drow is saying to the blue ones, "The time is now." And he points to uh, he points to towards Aaron. He, he recognizes Aaron, um, and he, no, he he doesn't recognize Aaron. I'm sorry. He says, um, "Be ready for the sign, my friends." Well, the sign is now, um, and he starts to uh, stab the gray the gray mind flare uh, ceramorphs. Um, and the we, blue. Uh, keep, keep up the good work. We'll we'll be back. <laughs> we'll send and, for more. You guys um, leave the leave the synagogue, and you come to a striad, which is under siege, and that is where we're going to stop for this evening.